Someday. Okay. Let's see here. I think that's just about everybody. Maybe Viotech. I don't know if I said hi to Viotech. Hey, Vio. Hi, Ben. More sleep tonight. I got you now. Okay. Well, like I said, let's play some Monster Hunter. Right now, we're listening to some orchestra music from one of the Monster Hunter Orchestra concerts. Probably do that for just a little bit here. Right now in the story, we've unlocked Zora Magdaros' quest, but I'm not ready to take that on quite yet, I don't think. I think first we're going to farm up some Rathian armor and maybe a Rathian weapon. And we want to try and take on maybe Rathalos and Diablos before we do Zora. Just for fun. But yeah, after that, I think we'll probably do Zora Magdaros. Let's go ahead and let's hunt a Rathian with Gunlance. I haven't played Gunlance yet. Finished high rank today. On to Master Rank tomorrow. Have fun, Basil Boy. My game does look good. I was doing a bunch of testing today. I could not quite get this game to run at like a flawless 60, and that made me sad. I wanted to, and I just couldn't get it. Okay. Let's upgrade this gun lance a little bit. I just need a $10,000 rig. I've never seen anything like this game. This game just sucks up as much CPU as you give it. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> streaming world's very intensive. Yeah, I mean, we're running, we're running the game, recording the game, and streaming the game all on a laptop right now. So, yeah, world is not happy at the moment. Path of Exile runs worse. I believe there. Are, I'll believe. I'll believe, folks, that there are games that run worse. <laughs> it's just. It's just a hog. It's like my GPU isn't even taxed that much. It's just the CPU. All right. Let's upgrade this ore gun lance a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure it's a mod better psychotic. Oh, we're broke. That's not good. Hmm. We're broke, and I don't think I don't know if we have any potions to our name. Nope. Hmm. I don't know what's I don't know what's up with the hot pocket. It just runs all it runs all 16 of my threads at basically almost completely maxed out <laughs> at all times, no matter what's on screen or what's happening. I will look forward to when we can ooh golden eggs. That solves some issues. I will look forward to when Rise comes out and we can stream a monster if you get on PC that doesn't do this. Okay, we got our gun lance. I'm also pretty new to PC gaming. I only got a PC that could run games like this fairly recently, so I'm not totally used to dialing in performance on things. Maybe someday I can dial in performance on a game like this to run well, but at this point it's gonna run pretty well for the stream. There'll be some drops every now and again, and I'll be a little sad, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna obsess over them crazily. Buy some potions. Rise runs very differently to this game, Sparkle Wolfie. It runs on a completely different game engine, and it runs a lot better than this. If you check out the Rise demo, you'll be able to see that. Alright, we're gonna go hunt a Rathian. I think we need some certain parts to finish upgrading her armor. 
or making her armor, rather. Oh, that's good, Big G. <laughs> See, most folks, when they say that, Big G would be just, like, spouting off some top specs, but I'm assuming you've seen that because of your bud, which is pretty cool. Okay, so right now, hang on. Let's see how much of the Rathian armor I have made. I have the helm, mail, van braces, and coil. So we just need the legs. What do we need to make those? We need two Wrath wing talons. Let's check the hunter's notes. Actually, before we check the hunter's notes, we probably gotta go talk to the, the researchers so they can upgrade our hunter's notes. Alright, cheers, Sparkle Wolfie. Like I said, I'm a little tired, so if I if I take a moment to kind of warm up to the game and reading chat all at once, apologies. Bear with me. I'm trying my best. My, my brain is, is worn out tonight, I think. Okay, Rathian. Rewards. Wrath Wing Talon comes from breaking her wings, and there's a chance in the rewards too. I don't think we have an expedition or an investigation for her quite yet. Let's double check though. Still nothing. Okay, let's check our map. Hi, Game God, how's it going? No Rathian in there. There is a Rathian at the Wildspire Waste. Let's go. Hello, Lassany. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fifth gen monster monster on the weekends. Fishkin monster. Wow. Fifth gen monster hunter on the weekends. We're ex we're specifically trying out world on the weekends because I've like I know that I want to do a really thorough full playthrough of this game someday, but I just don't have the time right now between the other games that we're playing and I know the monster hunter games that I know are coming out in the next year. But this game's important, and it tried a lot of new things, and I want to refresh some of my impressions on this game before we continue playing the new games and the old games in the series. So, that's what we're doing here each weekend, is we're spending a night each week playing a little bit of World. It probably won't be the best playthrough in the world, but... <laughs> that was not intentional. But it'll be something. Okay, I need to remember how to play Gunlands. Get some points a little, a little brighter out. The lighting we have for the game right now has makes things quite dark, doesn't it? That's better. Okay, let's see here. So. Oh gosh, I mean to slide. <laughs> I think a lot of this is going to feel pretty familiar to Rise. Especially some of the, uh, the slam-bam combos. How's the music volume for you guys? Is it too loud? Too soft? What do you think? frustrating to me, Vial, because, like, this is a beefy CPU I've got here, but this is a beefy game, I suppose, as well. Alright, where's the Rathian at? Doesn't say, actually. 
We'll have to go find some tracks. Which, like, I guess I'm not totally surprised that a mobile laptop beefy CPU while streaming and recording also maybe has issues with Monster Hunter World, which is a ridiculously CPU-heavy game. It's just, like, I've spent, like, an hour or two just kind of futzing around, seeing if I could find some combination of settings that would get things more stable. Just couldn't find it. Like, if there were visual settings I could turn down to reduce the CPU load, I, I would. They just don't exist. <laughs> I'm following my scout flies. Where are they taking me? Are they taking me into the caves? They are. Okay, into the caves we go. Yeah, hopefully this looks decently smooth enough on, on Twitch. This is also the first night I'm testing doing a high-res local recording. For a while now, I've been meaning to replace our current VOD workflow with a, a locally recorded VOD workflow, and so we're trying that for the first time tonight. You tried DX12? We're on DX12, yeah. Yep. There we go. Boundary tracks. I would assume no, Cyan. I would assume that not much has changed. Yes, this is actually this is actually empty framework. This game and 3U, the two games that we're playing right now, are running on the same darn <laughs> the same darn engine. Oh, there's another track back there, my bad. I mean, it's not exactly the same, clearly. This looks a little better, doesn't it? But same bones. I guess it depends on your system, Ash in 1PK. I'm not I was I spent an hour or two trying to tweak things around to see if I could make it run smoothly on my machine. Just couldn't have it. Just couldn't get it to, to work smoothly, but as some of our friends in the Discord would say, I suppose that is a, a laptop moment. Even a beefy laptop. Still a laptop. Okay, let's see. She's probably over in the forest. Yeah. What my impressions of this game have been? On this playthrough, Hugh Boy, I've played through this game before. On this playthrough of the game, I'm really enjoying some of the ways that these environments are so focused on detail and the endemic life. And I guess it is kind of nice how some of the kits of the weapons aren't probably as crazy as, as Rise. They fit with that more grounded kind of feeling and look of this game. I think there are some impressions I have that are like not necessarily positive. Like I feel like this game takes itself really, really seriously, and it's to the detriment of the overall tone. That could be just a personal thing, where I don't really want a super serious Monster Hunter game. I want one that's got lots of livery and, and jokes and fun in it. But that's been an impression of mine. Is like this game is really dry in terms of like how the the dialogue is and I don't know, just how the characters talk to you. It's not very funny. <laughs> There's still some funny stuff in there, but it's not as much as the other games. Gunlance on Rathian. How far did you get in your previous playthrough? I played all the way through Base World when Base World came out. It wasn't when I streamed. Um, and I played through Iceborne on Twitch. I didn't play. I didn't beat all the bosses in Base World or in Iceborne. I moved on from the game before it had received all of its DLC. Whoops! We missed where Rathian went. Taking too long running around. And we missed her again. Where's she off to? Back to the forest. <laughs> Okay. Exploding mummy. Thanks for the follow. Cheers. Oh, something aggroed onto us. It must have been the Kestadon back there. So, I guess... Yeah. 
I have some impressions of this game that are good. Like, I think there are some things about how they designed this world, like these environments. While I like being able to run around in Rise's environments and scramble over all the different surfaces and up and down all the slopes and stuff. This game's environments feel a lot more real, and I like it. Pardon me if I suck at Gunlance at first here. It's going to take me a minute. Oops. I was bumping my keyboard. I'm also still feeling like the, uh, I think between both the, uh, the lack of unique weapon designs and some of the armor designs not necessarily kind of being my thing. I don't feel super compelled to collect things in low rank, which is really like a, an acute difference. Like I, I'm someone who when I play through Monster Hunter, I collect quite a bit of gear as we go. And that's part of the, I think that's one of the things I use to enjoy myself and add some variety to my playthroughs. And so just not feeling the need to do that because there just aren't that many cool weapons bums me out a little bit. Like I, not even a little bit, a lot of it. It feels like one of the things I like to do in the game is just kind of absent. Yeah, me too, Vi. I was like, I, don't, I, I like Rise a lot. It's one of my favorite Monster Hunter games I've played before. Whereas this game I've always had issues with. Even when I was playing through it for the first time, I was always kind of like having a few issues with it. And it was only my second Monster Hunter game at the time. Um, I think that there is room for the, the series to get in between the two games. <laughs> Tribe of Tom, welcome. Just gonna guess you like to play with damage or off because of the, it's the way it was in the old games. Um, it's, that's part of it is I'm just nostalgic for it. I'm used to it that way. But I find that my mind actually pays attention to the game differently when there's visual feedback like that behind every hit. I start paying a lot more attention to just numbers and not so much the actual dynamics of the fight in terms of like what parts of the body I could be hitting for different reasons. It just distracts me a little bit. My, my poor lizard brain can't keep up with both the, uh, the damage numbers and the fight. So I like playing without them. It's just a personal thing though. We're supposed to bring her, we're supposed to break her wings. Kage 2 cheers man. Thanks for the sub. Do you think Capcom went for a more serious tone? current non Nintendo platforms tend to have an old, overall audio, older audience. I think they probably went for a, a more serious tone, um, a more serious tone with this game for a variety of reasons. Part of it is that, like, yeah, they were probably aiming for a slightly older audience than some of the handheld consoles. They even talked about that in some of their concept documents for Monster Hunter Rise is like, hey, handheld platforms tend to have younger audiences, so we're going to design a, uh, I know they are, Game God, I rated them last night. Their screen was good. Yeah, they were talking about with Rise how handheld audiences skew a bit younger, and so they designed that game a little bit differently as a result. But I also just think this game is so close to photorealism. I personally don't particularly like it, I don't think. I, I don't particularly like this game's art style as much as some of the other games. I'm trying to revisit it with an open mind so that like I can be open to look for it, things that I'm going to like about this game's art style and enjoy. But just overall, it feels more serious and a little bit less whimsical in a way that I'm not a huge fan of. It's not just the colors or like the lack of weapon designs. It's an overall thing where this game has a very different tone to it. And I think they did that because this is the first time they've had the horsepower on tap to, uh, to do so. Oh yeah, Wormstick. Forgot about you. But that is one of the things I'm 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 realizing all over again as I'm revisiting this game is like it's not just the, the lack of weapon designs. This game just really has a drastically different tone than other Monster Hunter games, and I don't know if that tone's for me, and that's okay. 
I can still enjoy this game, regardless of if it has a different tone. But it's just something I'm paying attention to as I'm playing through. I'm surprised by how different the combat feels from Rise, even though it's the same generation and they're based on some of the same ideas. <laughs> Thanks, Kage. They just, I find they distract me in like a way that I'm not a huge fan of. I like looking at pit zones after the first time I kill a monster instead. Also, they, these claggers are... Oh, another impression is that they absolutely just... They just really, uh, they really messed up their base game. <laughs> We're in low rank, granted, but like, these things clagger every 30 seconds or like a minute or so. It's rough. Oh, there's no slam after it, after the two pokes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm making the Rathian Gunlands. Right now I'm just making Rathian Armor. This music is maybe a bit intense. That's okay. We'll move on to the actual in-game music, I think, after this hunt. Any reason you don't really use Clutch Claw? Um, part of it is I really didn't enjoy that mechanic when it was added in Iceborne, but part of it is also, like, I'm trying to experience this game a little closer to, like, what the game was like before the, uh, the Iceborne additions changed the balancing of the base game. When the base game first came out, there really was no Clutch Claw for this content, so unfortunately, like, that clagger wouldn't have happened if I was fighting low rank Rathian before Iceborne came out. And these things are already dying pretty quickly, and they already clagger all the time, so I'm not going to use that advantage of the Clutch Claw early on in the game. I'm not sure if I'll use it at all before Master Rank. And there's really no way to experience... I mean, there, there's not many ways to experience what this game was like before Iceborne came out anymore. This game is irreparably changed from how it was. And I didn't particularly like this game before Iceborne came out anyway, so it's not like I think it was... An, like a perfect game before Iceborne and then Iceborne screwed it up even more or something. I just think, I don't know, I'm trying to approach a lot of this low rank and high rank content from the perspective of like, I'm not going to try and abuse this using some of the mechanics they added that this content wasn't designed for. I also have the disc, not for PC, Hugh Boy, but for PS4, so technically I can go back and experience it, but it's also, I can go back and experience like launch day bugs and everything too. All right, I'm really not doing a good job of breaking these wings. I'm just kind of bullying her. Should get a Clagger mod and not use Clutch Claw if you really wanted. I'm also not trying to use very many mods. I know I'm on PC and I can do that, but the more mods I add, the less I'm actually experiencing how this game is. And I'm, I'm definitely looking to make impressions of what this game is like from Capcom, not necessarily what this game is like with mods. It's okay. They probably don't know FPS. Yeah, I'm also you can also notice I'm not using the defender weapons because they're really strong. They're, they would murder this content even more so. Yep, we did a little bit of that Chorito. I still might someday. All right, wings. Let's break the wings. I can do it. <laughs> hmm. Um. I was trying to get a mount, but. This was like the opposite perspective of what? Well, I mean like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not necessarily, I know that what I've talked about so far has been like vaguely negative. I'm, this game did a lot of things that are appropriate theme. Um, this game tried so, so many new things. It's an entirely new vision for Monster Hunter. And they're gonna iterate on this vision for the next few games until they reach a point that they're happy with and then start over again in terms of like a fresh new direction. And I think it's really, this game, for all the things that I personally don't appreciate about it or like super like or whatever, I think it's really important for me to experience it freshly and try to remain kind of un, like somewhat unbiased in terms of like just taking things as they are and going, okay, why do I like this? Why don't I like this? Because it's going to be a good lens to be able to look through. It's like, okay, here's how it was in World. Here's where they here's where they hit on it with Rise. 
Here's let's see where they take it with with Sunbreak, etc. <laughs> you speaking of this theme sounds like you're making saying some really important stuff. Too bad I'm not. <laughs> That was weird. When I jumped off that ledge and I hit RT to guard, instead I did the slam. Still getting used to these controls. This is my first time using Gunlance in World this quicker. You can aim Wyvern Fire? Yes, you can. Holding down L2 lets you. You can guard me there. No, you can't guard. But I was holding down RT so that when I hit the ground, I was, I would be guarding, and I just didn't expect a, a, an attack to come out from it. I guess you can do a slam bam after that. That's pretty nice. How are things looking and sounding? Everything sounding okay? Looking okay? Does this reload my shells? No. That also wasn't the slam. Okay, I get it. Triangle in the air does a stab. RT in the air does a slam. Got it, got it, got it. sharpness. Yeah, I've seen people do that aerial stuff in the past. I remember back from when World was where it came out. We are not going to get those Wrathwing Talons, are we? <laughs> not with Gunlance. That's okay. We'll try with another weapon. Is this World or Iceborne? This is Iceborne. I mean, we're in low rank, but this is... I have Iceborne. Whether you have Iceborne or not, it still has those changes. Range stuff might be good. That's a good point. I haven't done much gunning yet. I never like. Okay, so for context of how I played World when I first played World, um, it was my second Monster Hunter game. I played. I started with Generations, which came right before this game, and I played through that as a newbie. This is my second game. I played mainly Longsword, Lance, a little bit of Gun Lance, a little bit of Sword and Shield, but I didn't really play through the games as thoroughly as I do now. Now when I play through the games, I clear all the quests. I collect lots of weapons. I try and clear everything on my first time through, so I kind of approach everything with the right level of gear where it'll be a challenge. Or at least somewhat of a challenge. Um, but this was before, when I played World, it was before I started doing that. So for the most part, I uh, just played through doing the quests that I thought looked interesting and the weapons that I thought looked interesting, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but it means that there are lots of things that I just haven't tried in this game or learned in this game. And so I'm trying to be a little more thorough this time. Granted, this is still going to be more of an abridged playthrough that I'm just doing one day a week rather than the normal way I stream games, which is <laughs> every day a week. All right, I think the realism in the art style drew in some people that would have just dismissed the Rise art style. I mean, that's fair. I mean, the fact that there's this art style, it's beautiful. It's, I don't think it's ugly. It's like, there, no one's saying it's ugly. I just, to me, it doesn't feel quite like the Monster Hunter that I personally hold dear in terms of like, it doesn't have every, doesn't have quite the whim, I'm not even just talking about the colors or anything. Like, it doesn't have quite the whimsy of the Monster Hunter that, I, that I'm used to and that I really, cherish. Some of the things I really like about some of them, the, the tones and art styles of Monster Hunter are missing in this game to look a little more visually realistic and fancy and like, I don't know. I want to throw out the word gaudy, but that's probably not a great word for it. Okay. And like, I don't, like I said, I don't think this game looks bad. It looks pretty cool. It's just like, there are some things about this art style that make it not quite my favorite style. That's all. Posh. Posh is a good word, Hirschman. Thank you. A lot of the armor in this game looks really posh. Both of them, it's very detailed, and some of it just looks really very fancy. And like, I don't always want to look like I'm wearing a crazy fancy armor set. Does that make sense? Okay, let's see. Um, that was an expedition for Rathian. We're gonna go back to the camp, and we'll we'll decide what to do next from there. Which I do by hitting start and then going to the return from expedition button. I'm all over the place.
We got we definitely did not get the wing talent. That's okay. See, that's something I've thought about Hot Pocket is I really like the oldest monster hunter. Some of the oldest monster hunter games have also really gritty, kind of grounded art styles. But I don't know if it's just that they're on older hardware where they end up looking different for it. But even though first and second gen, which I, I'm a pretty big fan of, <laughs> at least second gen, um, have a similar art style in terms of like how grounded they are to this game, this game comes off as totally different to me in a way that I'm not as fond of. And I think that's interesting. I don't know why that is. I'm still, I'm part of that. That's one of the things I'm searching for while I'm here is I love the grounded art style of Freebie Night. Why don't I love the, art, the grounded art style of World as much? What is it? I think it has something to do with it trying to look fancy, but I don't know. Sorry, FPS. Someday we're gonna go back, don't worry. All right, guns. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it totally, Shadow Upon the Tempest. It is still grounded, like it's gritty and darker and less colorful, but it does not have the same feeling as those first games. It's different somehow, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a different thing. That's okay. Okay. Ranged weapons. I haven't tried bow yet. <laughs> we could try bow. We're not trying to fender bow. I guess there aren't different- there, I know there aren't different levels of shot types in this game. There aren't different shot types, actually. <laughs> there just aren't- there aren't different shot types in general. There are different- there's different raw, and there's different coatings. Pulsar bow, I remember being quite good. Good raw. Boosted para, good power, close range. I wonder if we can make that. For those who are just joining us, we're listening to one of the Monster Hunter Orchestra concerts from YouTube right now. So that's why we're not listening to the in-game music. We might switch back when we, especially if we do Zora Magdros, we'll probably switch back to the in-game music. That's interesting, Basil Boy. I mean, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We cannot make that without hunting more um, Toby Kodachi. However, we could make the Blooming Arch. I'm gonna say that you prefer the word art style. World art style, but honestly, as long as the gameplay feels good, you're not gonna care that much. Yeah. I think that... Like, the, the, I'm not... I know we're talking a lot about the art style. I don't know why we are, but... That's not... There's, like, so many little things in this game that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, or they did the last time I played this game. And some of them still are when I'm playing, the, playing it now. But I don't know, I think that's part of the reason why I personally have a hard time enjoying this game is like, even though this is just a great game overall, it really is. Like there's still cool fight designs. There's still neat weapon kits. There's still cool sets to build. There's neat maps to see. So many monsters. It's awesome in that way. There's so many little things that rub me the wrong way that I think I, in the past, I had a really hard time enjoying it overall. I don't know if that's going to be the same this time through. Maybe. <laughs> but. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to stick with the iron bow. All right, let's go to the training room and see how this feels first. Whoops. Okay, so we take out the bow. Let's scroll through our coatings. Oh, that's not how you apply a coating. <laughs> That's not how you apply coding. Triangle is how you apply coding. All right, I know in this game, you can still, you can hold down charge, but nobody does that. 
Instead, people are like to... Here, actually, let's go ahead and take off. Or actually, it probably won't even drain the power cleanse. People like to go level 1, level 2, level 3. Level 3, level 3, level 3. Over and over, as long as their stamina really allows them. Or... Whoops. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Man, that stamina usage is... Power shots, though? When do people put in the power shots? Yeah. At the end of an opening? So, okay. Do I do... Like, I guess I could either do one, two three if the opening allowed for it or i could do hold down charge dash dance or not not like that it would be um sorry is there a limit on how many times you can do that the dash dancing wait i did that wrong i'm sorry no i keep power shotting by accident Power shot is usually more damage, so you want to end your combos with power shot. Every level three, you want to be power shot. Hey, Mark Abyss, welcome. I feel like I saw it drop down from level three there. One, two, three, one. Okay, so it resets. So one, two, three, dash, three, three. Okay, let's. One, two, three. Three. Okay, hang on. Let me let me let my stamina recharge. Let me eat if I can. Let me get some more stamina going on here. One, two, three. Nope, it went down. I don't know why it went down, but it went down. One, two, three. Dash, three, dash, three, dash, three. Okay, I kind of get it. It feels like the window to be able to stay, stay at level 3 is way smaller in this game compared to Rise. It does not count as a level 1 power shot. Interesting. There is no Rathian out there for us to hunt right now. Okay, well, let's go hunt a Toby Kadachi. We're gonna die. The active dashing itself also increases your shot level. Yep, yep, so you can, I know you can do, um, I know you can do charge, slide, level two, a uh, shoot. I know you can do charge, slide, level two, level, hmm. Level one, hold on, level one, dash, level three. Okay. Hey, Fallison. Charge, level one. Okay, it's just, yeah, the opening to cancel it into the next level is smaller than, uh, than Rise. It's so weird, man. Hmm. Interesting. Um, sort of, Mark Abyss. This is a this is a more abridged playthrough of World. We're not playing through this game nearly as much as Three Ultimate. I won't have the time for it. So I'm just playing through kind of at my own pace. I'm not doing many weapon raffles. I'm mostly just playing through acquainting myself with things for the first time in a few years. I haven't played this game in a long time. What's that, like, da dodge into triangle shadow upon the Tempest? Let's buy some power coatings. Fallison, I hope you're doing well tonight, man. Welcome, welcome. Oh. 
How do you feel about the visual feedback when landing a hit in this game? I haven't, uh, like, with Quade Master weapons or with bow, with bow guns? It's very subtle in this game. I wish it was a little bit stronger for, for Blade Masters. For bow guns, I, I haven't tried yet. Well, that song ended. <laughs> Ooh, attack up M. Wow. Look at that. Um, if we want to find Toby Kadachi, we should probably head up into the tree. So let's do some of that. Hello, Mr. Jagras. Nighttime. Nighttime Toby Kadachi hunt. I wonder if he will glow. He probably will. Oh, here he is. I didn't expect to find him down here. Neat. I also have no idea where his shot type attempts are. At all. <laughs> probably his head and his tail. Oh, I thought he was going to move on to an, like an o more open area. He is not going to move on to a more open area. <laughs> Now he is. Let's track him on the map. Whoops. Well, we get a chance to do our damage combo. Quite fast. You know what we should do? We should probably eat some rations so we have full health or full full of hunger. I get the first Zora story wise. Yes, we haven't done that quest yet though. Hmm. I'm gonna use close range coding for a minute here so we can kind of get used to aiming on him. There we go. Ugh. This is just playing the world soundtrack now. We're gonna change that up in a minute here when we get a chance. There's no pause in this game. Close range feels weird. It feels very close range. <laughs> he feels fast as well. Hello, Burbatory Cage. Welcome. Yeah, see, I was out of range there. That's crazy. That's very, that's very close range. <laughs> there we go. No more electricity. I do remember that from our playthrough before. Seen someone stream with bow this is a first this is my first time using it 
So, uh, don't take notes. <laughs> Yeah, I think that the, the visual feedback for Blade Master in this game is a little bit subtle. Cyan, probably to not clash too hard with the uh, the new the do, the new damage numbers. Okay, um, hang on here. Let me actually just get to the in-game music if we're gonna have this music playing. Sorry about that. We were listening to an orchestra concert there. I think that was maybe still the orchestra concert, but it's a good enough time as any to uh, switch back to the in-game music. You can choose, Basil Boy. Yep. <laughs> hey, we were just listening to this. Ouch. Hello, Kazuki. How'd you like Basil Goose and Rise? I liked him a lot. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I, got, I went back down to level one there for a second. So I feel like that whole system works differently. It's like a, it's actually a very much a combo system in this game where it feels a little bit different in Rise, you can kind of just indefinitely stay at the max level. In this game, you reset back to the first level if you're not careful. It feels quite a bit different to me. That'll take me a minute, take me a minute to get used to. <laughs> well, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, hello. Yeah, close range is really close range. I think, let's go ahead and let's switch to, uh... Ugh, power coding. No, no. There. Okay, I fell back. I fell back down to level three. I bet if you have damage numbers on, it's a little bit easier to uh, keep track of what level of the combo you're at. Weird, weird, weird stuff. <laughs> oh god! Oh, the coconuts. Well, I hit him at least. I didn't mean to. How am I? I'm a bit tired today, Jack, to be honest with you. But I'm enjoying playing some world and forming some fresh impressions of bow. I never played bow in world at all. What do you think so far? Uh, it's more different than Rise than I thought it was going to be. Nice, Basil. Congrats on reaching your goal. Reaching a goal in Monster Hunter feels really good. We just finished all of low rank in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate this week, and it felt really good to me. Hey, there's Rathalos. Is he going to come flying into this nest? I don't know. He disappeared. Was that just three minutes of circle strafing? I mean, no, I, I think, I don't know. Actually, it was a lot of jumping around. Hope my tooth issue is getting better. I had the tooth, I had a bad tooth last week that was really, infl had a bad tooth last week that was really infected and inflamed and I had it pulled this week. It's, my jaw is still a little sore and swollen, but I'm, I'm getting better.
Hello, the digit artist. If I miss anyone's message in chat, feel, first off, feel free and repost it if I miss it. Second off, just thanks for being here. I appreciate it. As we uh, revisit this game, check it out. Okay, he's up in the tree, in the little tree grove here. There he is. Ooh, there's one. Oh, <laughs> I dropped the water moss. There's not fresh water moss. But there is some on the other side of this area. Let's go get it and grab this Wiggly Witchy for stamina. See, this I like. I like there being environmental pickups that really feel well integrated into the world. Or we're going to douse his electricity with this water moss. And I grabbed two... Two, I grabbed two items that are going to help us out with this part of the fight, and they didn't feel just like glorified quake pickups like they do in Monster Hunter Rise to me. There we go. No more static electricity. Ouch. Never you can do that. Yep, the water douses static electricity just like it does in real life. Ooh. I know you don't always want to just spam up to level 3 like I'm doing right now. For Sunbreaker, you didn't get the guild provisions? The guild provisions? What are you talking about? Um, I'm not sure, Basil Boy. I think I will at least do low rank for sure. I might do high rank. I don't know if I'm going to do master rank right now. I think low and high rank feels good to me right now. I imagine probably I'll do this until Rise PC comes out. The free items they give you? I don't know what they're supposed to give you. I haven't heard anything about it yet. Alright, last power coding. <laughs> Just some tickets and honey and potions? Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. This definitely feels like just like rise. Okay, so rise bow feels like these controls, but applied to the old bow system in terms of like you've got your different charge levels and then you can stay at the top, and your different charge levels have different types of bullets that come out of them. This just straight up feels like a combo weapon. This is totally different than rise. Like I know it's very similar controls, but the way you play bow in this and the things you're thinking about are totally different. With rise, it's like how can I get to my maximum shot type that I've built my set around and stay there. This is like what combos do I want to use? What what of the what of the different types of bow combos do I want to use in this opening I've got? Very different. And like I've only played it for <laughs> however long here, 15 minutes. But just very different. I don't think I've gotten a mount yet, so I kind of want one. 
Oh, he's tired now, anyways. Like, in Rise, that would have kept me at max level. I don't think I was at max level there. I think it was just kind of doing whatever. Is that Pierce shot? It is. No, not Clutch Claw. No, not Clutch Claw. No, not Clutch Claw. No! <laughs> God, I suck. <laughs> I wanted to mount! <sighs> I know this game's controls are already complex as it is, but this game really badly needed a slopes button. Like, that just did slope contextual actions that wasn't bound to anything else. Yes! <laughs> We could have been shooting him that whole time, but I just wanted to see what this was like because I haven't really played around with the wedge wheels all that much. Probably run out, ran out of buttons on the gamepad. They did. I just think if they want if they want slopes to play as big of a role as they did in this game, they need that. They need some kind of key combination that is just for slopes and slope actions. I think I could have charged that. Oh well. Aren't you used to Toby's powers because you fall in Rise? I think he moves pretty differently in this game, Game God. In this game, it feels like he moves slower. But his moves hit a lot harder than they did in Rise or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of how it feels to me. But I'm also in like zero defense armor, so who knows. Rise and Rise Toby has more moves to pull from and is a little bit faster, I think. Right, I don't need to mash. There's no reason to mash. I forgot. Would you like to do something other than roar, Toby? Screw you. Oh my god, Clagger from the Pierce Pods. Okay. I do remember hearing about that Lord Castellan. It'll take me a minute to get used to that, like, auto, auto aim from Bo. All right, we killed it. We didn't faint. I'm actually pretty surprised. I think you're in the main hunting horn instead of hammer this time around. It's really cool in Rise, Basil Boy. It's really cool in Rise. <laughs> All right. Still no Rathian, Sag. Let's head back. Can't you turn the item off? You probably could. I don't know if I want to or not. I'm not sure if it helps you with the combos in this, with the combos with bow in this game, or if you want. The auto aim off. I bet with mouse and keyboard you want it off, but I'm not playing on mouse and keyboard. Record your first silver crown or higher for monsters that appear from lower high rank. Nice. My harvest box is full. Ooh. Didn't even look that big? I don't think so either. What else can we cultivate? Let's cultivate honey. We're gonna need that for mega potions. Cool. All right, I think I'm gonna use the bathroom before we keep going. Let's go ahead and see if there's a Rathian on either of the maps now. No Rathian. There's a Rathian in the forest, sick. Let's go ahead and take our newfound bow skills out and see if we can't get some wing talents. I love Monster Hunter. Like, 
you know what I'm talking about? Like, all these little things I like to nitpick about this game, where it's like, their vision for this game doesn't necessarily line up with, like, some of those little things that matter to me in a Monster Hunter game. I'm still out here going like, oh, well, I couldn't hunt a Rathian. Let's go practice bow on Tobikodachi. Okay, now that we practiced bow on Tobikodachi, let's take those skills out and see how they're going to do on Rathian. Like, these games are so freaking good, man. Oh, so close. All we needed was one one claw and we would have been able to make this bow. The Pulsar bow would have been a great upgrade. Oh, well. Next time. Oh, I should have bought some power coatings. Anyways, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. I'm going to let you guys look at this beautiful night sky. Is there like a pose where you like look off into the sunset? No, I guess not. That works. All right. I'm going to be right back. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the night sky. When I get back, I will go ahead and hunt that Rathian and we'll see how we do. All right, we're back. We are back. Let's go hunt that Rathian. Let's make sure we grab some power coating from the, the stockpile, though. Well, those stakes give you a level of constitution in this game? What? Did they give you a stamina buff? I didn't know that. If so, maybe I'd use them more often.
It's not letting me auto sort this box. And I don't know why. Let me auto sort. <laughs> Manage items. <sighs> I don't know how to organize the item box. There we go. Okay, I had to actually physically mouse over to it. If you're in like click mode, it won't let you auto sort the other box. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Do we have a bunch of steel eggs? Oh, those are snowmen. <laughs> okay. According to the wiki, they reduce stamina consumption. Rare steaks also give full stamina bar in this game. So I guess they made well done steaks give you a buff on top of it. That's cool. That makes it worthwhile to go hunt and kill some Aptonoth, actually. Out to the forest we go. I don't know if I fought Rathian in the forest yet. Also, it says Piscine Researcher has a little exclamation mark next to him. I wonder why. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit the popo for charge. Only mean people hit popo for charge. Are you eating the popo? No! You leave my popo alone. We haven't gotten to the part of the game where there's popo yet. Sorry the frame rate's not 100% perfect. I really wish I could make it so it was. <laughs> Maybe I still can someday, but today I tried, messed around with some settings, couldn't get it to lock at 60. <laughs> this game's too much of a beast. A monster, if you will. All right. If I were Rathian, I don't know where I would be on this map. Let's go talk to that Piscean researcher. I don't know what he has to talk to us about, but let's go check. This game is quite pretty. When's Fatalis? I don't know if we're going to play all the way through to Master Rank in this playthrough. But no time soon, seeing as we haven't even done Zora yet. A pink Perexus. Hmm. I doubt they're in this fishing spot. Must be in a different fishing spot that you find the pink Perexus. Arian Silver. Oops, I gotta switch something in OBS. Arian Silver, thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're enjoying the monster hunter here tonight. Just do low rank Fatalis. Oh yeah, you know. They can be there? Oh. I don't even see many fish in this water. Let's check it out. I like the fishing in this game. That's something I like. The fishing in this game? So cool. Oh, oh. I didn't even realize there was a fish there. That was a sushi fish. It's hard to see. Just two bros fishing. Oh, there you go. Pink Paraxis. Neat. Dude! Nice catch. Alright, now about that Rathian. <laughs> Scout flies are saying this way. Jagras, Anjanoth, and Rathian out in these woods. That's currently the one mod we do have installed, or I guess we have two technically. We have, or three. We have the performance patch. We have a mod that makes the scout flies a little less bright, well, a lot less bright. And then I had have um, reshade installed so I can tweak the colors. And I've tweaked the colors to be a little bit more contrasty and a little bit more vibrant. But that's about as far as I'm gonna let myself go in terms of tweaking how this game looks on PC and how this game works on PC. I think it depends on how how often they interact and how they interact. 
Shadow Palm the Tempest. And if the maps got bigger and they were further apart and they ran into each other less frequently, it'd be a good thing. Performance patch? Yeah, there's a there's a patch that takes out a lot of the unnecessary code that this game has. Like there's just this game is not particularly well optimized for PC, and there's a a mod from from mod from a lot of the from some of the people in the Monster Hunter World modding scene that makes it run a little bit better. It's still not great, but <laughs> makes it run a little bit better. I know where she's going. Shoot! She spent no time here at all. Oh, for you it's a biology nerd gripe? Okay. Whenever I talk about how many monsters should or shouldn't be on a map or like how they should talk how they should interact, I'm always talking about it from the perspective of like how does this affect the gameplay? This game doesn't handle it very gracefully, where you end up seeing a lot of the turf wars over and over, and the monsters tend to just like roar back and forth at one another in a really like disruptive way. They also tend to move around a lot, and so you see a lot of that happen on top of one another. It made me really frustrated when I played this game. Rise does it a little better, where they ignore each other a little bit more and they don't roar, but it's still not perfect. I'm interested to see how they'll develop, how they'll how they'll change and iterate on that as they go through these games, as they design more open world Monster Hunter games. It'll be interesting to see how they uh, how they handle that particular design decision. It's an interesting balance. You're trying to balance like the realistic, like how realistic it feels for those monsters to interact with one another, with how it interacts with the actual combat of the game. So it's an interesting balance. This game, they clearly went with like. I don't know. I want to say like they were focused on realism, but like if you're focused on realism, seeing the same turf war, the same roars back and forth over and over, isn't very realistic. Whoops. <laughs> Wing talents. Wait, no! <laughs> I'm so spoiled from the Rise second power shot. Yeah, I'm starting. To, I'm starting to get the get the flow of this. I think. Yeah, I mean, I get that. I know that's not realism. Clearly, nothing in Monster Hunters are going to be focused on realism or like full-on realisticness because it's monsters. But I think in their 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 efforts to try and make this feel like how monsters would interact in an environment like this, it feels unrealistic because of how how they just roar back and forth at one another. How often you see the same turf war, or how often they'll just run into one another, even though they just ran away from one another. So I think that while World tries that, like you can commend them for that, I think it per I think it doesn't do a great job of it. And I haven't even gotten to the part of the game where like people are talking about Elder Recess where it's actually egregious. Even in the ancient forest, it still feels kind of like it's not always janky, but there there are instances of instances of it I've already experienced where it's been like janky, where the same monsters have run back and forth into each other over and over and just roared. So while Rises doesn't even attempt to be as realistic feeling as this, I still prefer it, even if it's not necessarily like better in that regard. It's just a different take at the balance. Okay, we broke both the wings. She feels like an excellent bow test dummy. Do not charge bow shots. You don't have to in this game. In this game, you can level them up. You, in this game, you have like different levels of bow shot and you cycle through between them by, by shooting in sequence. 
or by dashing. I'm new to Bow. This is my first time playing it in Monster Hunter World. I've played it in Rise, and I've played it in old games, but I haven't played it in World before tonight. So I know you can do that dash dance to charge it, rather than just spamming up to the level, but I'm not sure when I should do either. Hello, Squee the Mancake, and hello, Arian Silver. So if I'm doing it wrong, I apologize. I'm, I'm new at it. Is this a fresh character? Fresh of a couple weeks ago. We've played, like, three or four streams on this character. This is low rank. If someone can describe to me in a way that makes sense, like, especially with my current build where I don't have any freaking bow skills or stamina skills, if someone wants to describe to me how I should be using dashes in versus comboing the shots up, like, and why I would do one over the other, feel free. I would, I would love to learn. Okay, she went down back to the, the center area. Are you playing on console? We're playing on PC. I recently got a PC for the first time that's capable of running games, and so we're playing this on PC. Hey, Skiffy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, boy. <laughs> they got them both! Hell yeah. It feels right now like I can't dash dance without eating up too much of my stamina, so it feels more worthwhile to just spam up those shots, because the shots seem like they use up less of my stamina, and they actually deal damage. Whereas dashing, while it does level up my shot level, and like get me closer to level 3 sooner, um, uses up too much stamina for me. I know in low rank world, I know in world you can stay at level 3 if you are like already at level 3 and you do the dash dance power shot, dash dance power shot. Whoops. Whoops. One, two... But that, I, just, I can't do that dash dance for very long, so I think it makes more sense for me to combo right now. I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's something in the older games, Arian Silver, in the older Monster Hunter games, you did use to charge individual shots up. In this game, as you fire shots, each shot in your combo will fire an extra volley of arrows, essentially, and deal some more damage. So you fire one arrow, two arrows, three arrows, four arrows, and you can kind of stay at the top there for a little bit if you if you combo it the right way. I'm trying to be careful about that, Basil. But I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to use super powerful equipment thus far on these early monsters, so I can actually learn. But yeah, low rank. If you use all the tools the game gives you between the clutch claw and defender weapons, like the game ruins low rank. Aw, oh, only like one of that one part of the Dragon Piercer hit. Bummer. Pretty much, Nine Highwind. They have so much green and blast and raw, and they're really cheap to make. It's a bummer. Whoop. I mean, I'm learning, Basil Boy. <laughs> For someone who doesn't already know how all the weapons work or and all the, how all the monsters work. For someone who isn't familiar with the game, I'm definitely learning in low rank by making sure I'm not using the most damaging techniques too soon. And I'm enjoying myself. Like, this is fun. Whoops. Whoops. Can you not go back the way you came? I think you can. Give me Vine. There we go. Yeah, we'll take a look at the Defender Bow and compare it to what I've got right now. <laughs> Are they fighting? Uh, I thought there was Anjanath here, but it's just her. Never mind. Whoops, I missed. <laughs> the quick shot? What do you mean, Smileo? What is the quick shot?
This isn't matter or anything, it's just fun. Anyways, it's clear that they really, between the changes they made to some of the, the mechanics with the Iceborne and the Defender weapons, they, they clearly changed the base and, and like the low rank and high rank experience in this game quite heavily. Which is a bummer, but I'm not going to dwell on it because I'm just that's not how I'm going to play through. I'm not interested in experiencing that. We can see how that would play out and it would be no fun. Press circle or B it and you fire a, fix, you fire a quick spread shot that doesn't consume stamina. Well, that's nice to know. One, two, wait. You can use it instead of your first rapid shot. Nope, it doesn't replace the rapid shot. Oh, it does. Never mind. You just have, like the window for that in this game is super small. Like I want you guys to look at this. Quick shot, rapid shot. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You have to be pretty quick at it, or else you you actually you, you drop the combo. See. It's not like a tiny window, but it's it's definitely a smaller window than you have than you have in Rise to continue combos. Different feeling. We are destroying this Rathian, which is nice. Well, if you hold down the shot button a few seconds, you do charge up the shot. And now I fire three arrows, but it's much more damage for me to f to fire through those different shot levels rather than just charge them up. Where does she sleep? I guess she sleeps in the Rathala? In the Toby Kadachi nest? Hmm. Where does she sleep? Show me, bugs. Okay, this is the way I thought I was going to go for that. Down this way, up the tree. Hey, cold brew, welcome. I hope it's coming through that I'm not just trying to bash this game. Like there are many things that I like to nitpick about this game because this game, I feel like this game focused on trying so many different things rather than focusing on being like a particularly like monster hunter focused game, if that makes sense to me. Like, or at least that's how it feels to me. Um, and so I talk about a lot of them, but I'm still really enjoying myself and I'm still really enjoying experiencing this again and seeing what I feel like about the different mechanics and refreshing my memory on how things work. Well, nice dragon on fire. <laughs> Presumably by what people are telling me and not by what I'm showing off, <laughs> but I'm glad you're learning something. Learning's good. Nitpick more in other games too. I have less nitpicks about other games. How's my fresh impression so far? Pizza Crider? I'm doing pretty good. My impressions are, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. I don't adore everything about this game. I don't know that I ever will, but I'm definitely enjoying picking out the differences in terms of like how this game is focused differently than Monster Hunter Rise is or how the, what the hell that camera? We're not gonna go after that right now, sorry. We're not going after that 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 Grimalkin. Ugh, that camera hurt my brain. Um It's interesting to pick out the differences and and try and like decipher, okay, like what was their goal behind making the game so different than Monster Hunter before with this change, that kind of thing. I'm having a, I'm having a good time with that. Lots of interesting discussion topics. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying not to just bash on it. There are many things that I don't know that I'll ever like about this game, but I'm trying to at least experience them fresh and kind of at least try them. When I first played this game, I might have just ignored them and been like, "Bah, I don't like that." But I'm trying to at least try things out in this game.
know what's not wrong? This sunset. This sunset is wonderful. I knew that was gonna happen. I was trying to I was trying to watch carefully so I could get out of the way of the second charge. We did not get out of the way of the second charge. Here, have some beans for that cart. Whoops. I don't even know if we had full stamina when we were hunting her there. It's not too smart. Never played world until a few weeks ago. That's the thing, is like I would never say that this wasn't worth playing. I know no one's saying that, but just I think there are a lot of people who, I mean, myself included, who when we when we focus in on critiquing what we think this game did right and wrong, it might come across as like, don't even play this game. Don't even play that Monster Hunter game. Only play the old games or like whatever. But this game still has so many interesting things that Monster Hunter before this game hadn't tried and so many things that are unique to this game to experience. That's just like, this game's cool. Rathian will leave the locale soon. Shoot. She's still up there? She is. Gosh darn it. Took too freaking long to kill her. And I thought I was doing a good job, too. What the hell? Alright, bugs. Take me there. Yeah, it's still better than a lot of other <laughs> a lot of other games. Ah, there's like a whole there's a, there's this like central winding staircase here we can use. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, I think it does work like that, Lord Castellian, which is much like Expeditions in uh, 3 Ultimate and 4 Ultimate as well. Carding to monsters on the Expedition shortens their time on the map, which makes sense. That's the way to discourage the player from carding instead of actually having a failure based on multiple cards. Works well enough. I don't want to card again. If I card again, for sure we're doomed. I think I have an idea, actually. I don't know if we can knock that down or not. I don't think we can knock that down, but let's stay over by this wall. Hello, Teppelin. Welcome. I recognize your name. How you doing? You can do it with bombs. I don't have bombs with me right now. Yep, there we go. We're good. I think this will kill her. See ya! You have to kill her! <laughs> Morbid. That's one way to keep her from getting away. Finally got to reaching your stream. Well, welcome. Welcome, Teplon. Hopefully we'll get those wing talents that we wanted in the rewards. Well, there's one. Let's hope we get some more in the freaking rewards. So we can make her last piece of armor. It's fine to prefer different games in the franchise. Found yourself going back to Freemanite 
uh, Generations Ultimate a couple times during the height of world. They're all enjoyable. Yeah, that's the thing that... Oh, sweet. We got both the talents we needed and a plate. That's awesome. That's the thing I think that's one of my foremost beliefs is that every game in this series has something that makes it quite unique compared to the other ones. It makes it, a little, it, makes it worth investing time into to experience what makes that one special and different. Are those KSC-75s? You have an excellent eyeball. Yes, they are. Those are KSC-75s KSC with some special foam pads from Japan and a, like, cheap headband from eBay. They're super comfy, super cheap, super nice little headphones. You got it, Tep1. You know. Dude, I love when somebody comes in here and they know the combo. They know the the, the, the weird cost headphones with the little pads. Hell yeah. <laughs> Props to you, Tep1. Alright. Let's finish making the Rathian armor. One of the best headphones out there. I got these a couple years ago when these sound so much better than average headphones that I just stopped here. I haven't collected any other any other expensive headphones. I haven't looked at other, any other ones. I might want some wireless ones someday for like different different um use cases, but as far as like wired headphones go, this is it. I'm not going any further. $15, $15 little things with some extra pads and, and a headband? Hell yeah. If they break, I just get some new ones. They're super cheap. <laughs> Sorry, I really like them. I've enjoyed them for a lot of years now. I think we've been streaming in these things for like almost three, almost two or three years now. Let's finish putting on that Rathian set. Change equipment. All right. Cool. That's our first actual armor set. We have a lot more defense. I think we had like 30 defense before. Now we have 111. And we have poison res, health boost, recovery up, poison attack, and botanist. Wonder why these products, despite their quality, sell for so low. I mean, like, they they sound really comparatively great. There are headphones that sound better than these, and they're made with like really cheapo little wires, and they're not like they're plastic. They're not like amazingly well made, but they sound very good. They're what are called open backed headphones, where they're not like they don't seal in your ear, which is great because it means that I don't hear myself as like muffled when I'm talking, and they don't clamp super hard or anything, so they're very comfortable for hours of streaming. But I don't know. They're really good for a purpose just like this. They wouldn't be good for like a crowded bus or a crowded coffee shop or something, or they would be less good for those environments. But they really fit what I need them for really, really well. They also just sound really nice for music. Okay. Um, I feel like I want to make a Rathian weapon. I've wanted to do that, Teplin. I don't have any soldering iron to do it with, but I want to do that. Because the cheapo cables are the worst part. We could make the Rathian switch axe, maybe. Can we even? No, we can't make the Rathian switch axe next. Can we make the Rathian sword and shield? Okay, we can make the Rathian sword and shield. Just need Machalite and poison sacks. Okay. I think we can make the Rathian longsword. Hmm, I haven't tried Charge Blade yet. The file is quite bad in low rank. It doesn't have elemental file. It has impact file. Let's go hunt everybody's favorite monster, Jiratotus. With our new charge blade. You like going Jagger's charge by as a starter? Three ninety six with impact versus four sixty eight. I mean, like clearly we we could go with that. It even looks a little different. 
if we compare it to our current one. It's got higher raw, too. We don't have that much Zenny, though. I'll just keep upgrading this ore, this ore one, if that's okay. I bet we'll still do enough damage. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I think we do have Jiratoyos exped uh, Expeditions we could go on. And I get you Pizza Critter. I think I said Pizza Critter earlier when you joined in. Pizza Critter makes a lot more sense. Tumba Rumba. Thanks for the follow. Hi. I hope you all are enjoying the Monster Hunter here tonight. I'm enjoying playing. Courageous Eel we just got. Hunt Jiratotus, etc. with one faint. I'm a little spooked by that, to be honest. Not from Jiratotus, but the Baroth. Or capture Jiratotus. Eh, what the heck. Is it the gauge charge in 3U specifically? Oh, do you know what benefit focus has for longsword? Yes, the gauge will fill up quicker. The uh, the gate, your spirit gauge itself when you're hitting a monster will fill up quicker, Cyan. I know that because SD Shepard told me in his portable third tutorials. Quality controls your problem too with one. Okay, let's see. Just downloaded the game after a long break and it is still as fun as always. Cheers, Tumbarumba. I haven't played this game in a while either and I am enjoying myself. This is gonna be our first expedition. No carts allowed. If we can, let's bring some tr let's bring some capture stuff so we can capture the bear off. We have a couple trap tools in the box. Let's go see. This will be my first time trying charge blade. Shoot. Do they sell train bombs? <laughs> Uh-oh. No, they sell trank ammo. Hmm. Okay. Crafting list. Sleep herbs and parish rooms. And you're right, you're right, Gord Castellan. We can probably probably get some uh probably get some from the map. We have Rathian armor now, we're fine. That's true, we do have triple the amount of defense we had before. There. Ooh, nighttime wildspire theme. So good. Right. Let's do Bear off first. I'm more worried about him. Jiratotus, we already know where it's going to be, too. Sleep herbs in zone 4, parish rooms in zone 5. I don't know the numbers. I see the parish rooms there. Sleep herbs, zone 4 is here, but it's out in the field. Okay, let's grab those. Thanks, Pizza Critter. That's something I really like about Worlds. Um, map is that it feels like you have actual ingredients for crafting that you can pick up around the world that are always in the same spot and it lets you route for things like that in the middle of a quest you can go huh i could use some of these items i have scraped together or left over in my inventory from either like the previous hunt i was on or whatever i have with me i can use it to scrap together an idea of some items to use i think i hope they bring back exactly how this game's maps works in terms of items so i think it's great is this pure vanilla? No. This is on PC. 
You can't really... You can't really play unmodded base world Teppelin, unfortunately. The only way to do that is to boot up a, uh, a disc on an Xbox One or a PS4 and play it like that. But this is on World, and we, we have Iceborne. Even if you don't have Iceborne bought, even if you just have, even if you just have the most up-to-date version of the game, you still won't have uh, an unmodded or an unchanged copy of Base World. It doesn't exist anymore because the update for Iceborne is, is like built in. It's a bit of a shame. Pretty sure you can use the Steam service to downgrade patches. I guess you maybe maybe you can. I don't know, but you wouldn't be able to play online either way. There we go. Okay. I've seen a lot of people to make new saves with the ice mod. Yeah, I've seen that too. I hope they are enjoying themselves. As for me, I haven't experienced enough of base world to the point where I want to experience a different version, a different take on it. I just want to experience the actual game. In a way, that's like sort of similar to how the game was played back in uh, back when it came out. I think is that Baroth? No, that's an Epsiros. Here we go. Old mud track. Okay. So he's coming up the way we were just coming from. All right, first hunt with charge void. Should have grabbed some water moss. No, it sucked me in. <laughs> Whoops. He peaced out. He was like, all right, knocked you on your butt. Goodbye. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Good thing we have that Rathian armor, man. <laughs> we be, we're needing it right now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there you go. Here's your guard point. Wasn't even the heart. Wasn't even the easy guard point. Oh, I could have SAD'd there. There's the KO. Charge Boy feels really nice in this game. Dude, what they do to this thing in Rise? My goodness. <laughs> They give you Slinger Thorn too, I forgot about that. He's already limp. World record.
<laughs> Is CB bad in Rise? Yeah. It's pretty bad. Like you can still you can still clear every hunt in the game with it. But it's pretty bad. They changed how the AED files they changed how okay, they changed the damage between SAED and AED. They nerfed impact files pretty badly. They made SAD files not hit things as easily across the ground. Um, it feels a lot slower than everything else in the game. Like, I mean, it's not like slower than from this game to that game, but everything else, all the monsters in that game are a lot faster than this game. And they just kind of bully Charge Blade. There are some ways to still make it totally viable. Specifically, the uh, condensed spinning axe from this game is really, really good in Rise. But... It's laid pretty low. It needs a rework. Like, it needs a, the kind of rework that Hunting Horn got, man. It's time. Shoot. Are there any other bad weapons? Heavy Bowgun's pretty bad. <laughs> Those are the two that were stuck out as being particularly bad to me, unfortunately. Which game needs a rework? Charge Blade needs a rework. Light Bowgun is amazing, Basil Boy, but Heavy Bowgun is, is pretty bad. You stick. I mean, yeah, no, Heavy Bowgun can still rock things socks. Light Bowgun is better than Heavy Bowgun in every conceivable way in Rise. It's still busted, Basil. It's just like, in a way that makes it even, it makes it less interesting from Light Bowgun to Heavy Bowgun. You use Heavy Bowgun out of Spite and Rise. I, I bless you, I guess. <laughs> Charge Boy isn't bad in Rise. It's pretty bad. I mean, like, like I said, you can still do, you can still do well with it. You can still clear every hunt in the game with it. But when you look at the number of charge blades moves that are actually useful, it's not very many. Its kit is just really rough. It's in a rough spot. Axe Hopper is good, yeah. One of the switch skills or special special arts that's gotten that game is really good. But the whole kit is not good. Yeah, and it has it has some really busted good hunter arts, but or not hunter arts, silk blind moves. But it's in a rough spot in that game. I consider a weapon. Okay, I consider how a weapon's doing, as far as like how useful is the weapon's entire kit. Not like, is there a way you can make this weapon busted for speedruns? Because of course you can. Most weapons you can do that. Heavy Bowgun you can do that, and I think Heavy Bowgun's bad in that game. Whoops. I consider how a weapon's doing to be like, how much of this weapon's kit is viable and useful to use in terms of like, does this, does this move serve a good purpose that makes it worth using? And if a lot of the moves don't have a, a purpose that's worth using, there's a problem there. Here, Dual Blades is very good. Dual Blades is my favorite weapon in Rise. And, like, those are the two that stuck out to me as, like, just being very much, like, their kits feel whack in that game. All the weapons are good in Rise, but it's just, like, those ones feel kind of whack to me. They don't feel like they jive with that game.
Nice. I needn't have worried about the one cart. Or the one yeah, the one the one cart only. Charge Blade feels really nice in this game. I saw I felt like that Girototus was pretty sloppy, but. No, you can aim them a lot in, in Rise. You can aim them a, a ton in, in Monster Hunter Rise, the AEDs and the SADs. Like, you can aim them almost a full 180 degrees, maybe more. It's kind of whack. They changed it halfway through the game. Like, that was that was something that happened during an update, like, three months after the game came out. Through, so, like, halfway through my six months of playing Rise. And I never really got used to it. Because I didn't play that much Charge Blade. <laughs> Oh, you already couldn't aim ADs. I thought you meant that you, like, folks, fo like, you, were, there were, you weren't physically able to, to aim them in other games. My bad. Okay. Complete our first investigation. We have everything we need to upgrade to the Jirotodas charge blade. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go get those Rathian spikes from Rathian, and then we'll upgrade all at once to the Jirotodas blade and then the Rathian blade. I don't want to switch to power element file early. Not when we can stay on impact and get KOs and break parts. Uh oh, out of null berries. That's not good. Let's go check on the on the farm. Wait, I thought I was cultivating honey. The heck? <laughs> All right, Rathian, huh? We don't. We still don't have a quest for her. She's in the ancient forest. She's also out in the wild spire. Let's go to the wild spire. Once we make her charge blade, I want to take on Diablos and Rathalos. Once we've killed every monster that physically exists in the maps, then I want to take on Zora. That's my goal. Cursed Blessing. Someone studying ants. Capture nine carrier ants. I think we can do that. <laughs> oh, it only counts as one. Oh no, it counts as a couple. Never mind. We'll keep our eye open for him. There's some more. That's fair, Skiffy. And like. To be fair about it, I know I was talking about... 
I know I was talking about how bad it is, but I didn't spend that much time playing it. I'm sure I could have found more ways to use some of the moves that are, are worse. But I still feel like its kit is pretty imbalanced. When 3DS 3U 60 frames per second only playthrough? Probably never. <clears throat> It's the new Lance? No, Lance never had the problem of its kit feeling like it wasn't useful. Right, we're here for Rathian. She's probably in the forest, so we're gonna head over to the forest. It's fun to just get out here and run around these maps, man. These maps are beautiful. Something I'm feeling about this game that I'm having a hard time describing is that it feels a lot more like I'm traveling around to actual environments and going out on hunts than Rise. I don't really know how to describe that, but it just feels that way. And I like that. I guess just because these maps these maps and the endemic life and the monsters do feel a little bit more like actual environments. Even though Rise, I like that you can explore around the entire environments the whole time. Like you can you can go, go around the entire environments. This game feels a lot more like realized in terms of its ecosystems rather or something like that <laughs> like i said can't really describe it yet but i'm enjoying that feeling hello lumpanada welcome whoops bear spin percent bear spin play through when we'll see She missed. Oh, I'm not used to that. <laughs> I never got used to those in Rise either. The little spinnies or little slides. almost died. Hello, w welcome War Graymon Waits. Just our monsters of the world again with Charge Blade. We're playing a lot of different weapons, but we're using Charge Blade for the next couple hunts, I think. We also just started a few streams ago here. We're sticking low rank for a little while. It's been a while since I've played Monster Hunter World, so it's nice to relearn some things. We're not rushing. Rushing through the game. Is it true that regular guard points and rise increase the file damage of the next move? Uh, there is a certain switch skill that makes it that way. Hello, Lumpanada. Getting back into world. We're playing it about once a week on the weekends. World weekends is what we're doing on Saturday nights for me. My time. Just, I, I don't have time to play through this whole game anytime soon. Like, I probably won't get to play through this whole game for another couple years again. Just because there's other monster games I'm planning on playing. And we're going to be playing the new ones as they come out. But... 
I still wanted to experience a lot of this game again because I think this game is important and made a lot of interesting, it, it tried a lot of really interesting things that I think would be interesting to see how Monster Hunter continues with or changes or iterates on in the future. So I just, I wanna, I wanna experience some of it to freshen it up in my head and I'm enjoying myself. I don't love everything, but I'm enjoying myself. Hell yeah, I charge with. I believe that is the first time I've ever used that little slide move to my advantage. Like when I just did that slide out of the way for Tailspin, that's the first time I've ever used that move when I actually meant to, I think. <laughs> I never got used to them because they feel so weird in this game. I usually trigger them accidentally. So it feels good to actually use it when I'm supposed to. What have you missed? Not much. Um, we farmed up all of the Rathian armor. Now we're making the Rathian charge blade. We're gonna try and take on both of the Apex monsters. The, oh, well, like, you know, the, whatever they're called in this game, you know, the the head monsters of the ecosystem, Rathalos and Diablos, before we take on Zora for the first time. Hello, Baroth. You sure did show up and roar, man. That was a cool tail cut, if I do say so myself. A mean dude coming in. Good, they're they're busy. We got spike. Ooh, he's next. We're hunting him. We're hunting him soon. Roar into roar. Good stuff. Hey, we got our first Diablos material just now. Gosh, I didn't realize he was charging us. How far does the Guardian Armor and Defender Tree line get you? Those are like almost end of, like you can upgrade those so that they're as good as like some of the options from the end of high rank. Maybe not the armor, but the weapons especially. War Grayman weights are like as good as some of the stuff at the very end of high rank. You will absolutely blast through low rank and high rank using them, but you will miss out on a lot of the game. Don't, don't, I would recommend not doing that because you'll miss out on a lot of the low and high rank stuff. You will probably, you will destroy the, the difficulty curve of the early game, which is a bummer. Doing them this early, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be taking on um, Rathalos and Diablos using our gear. We're gonna be trying to attack them early, and then we'll take on Zora Magdros. Uh oh. Hey Marths, welcome. Welcome to a World Weekend stream. We made the Rathian armor, and now we're playing Charge Blade. Charge Blade in this game feels so much better than Rise.
Too slow. If I hadn't missed that turnaround swipe there, I would've been okay, but I missed the turnaround swipe. Oh well, that's okay. We can wake her up at her nest. There was nothing in the old games that was anything like- I mean, like, there was nothing anywhere near as crazy as Guardian stuff. Or Defender weapons in the old game, Skiffy. I don't know. I don't really want to talk about that stuff too much. It's played out now. I hope they don't do something similar for Rise. They might, but I hope they don't- I hope they don't add armor that just destroys over half the game's, like, difficulty. Dunk feels bad, man. The bummer about that fish is that there are hard and good parts in low and high rank that you'll just miss out on if you use that equipment. There are still some things in low and high rank that are hard, depending on what tools you're using. If you're using everything the game gives you, maybe there's not. I figure it was pretty pretty OP. And that's not to say that you can't do that war grim and heights. Like if you have already played this game, you don't want to experience anything in low and high rank again. You just want to get to master rank as quickly as possible. That equipment's there, and I don't care if you use it. Like whatever, you're not hurting me. It's just like I think you're really you're really <laughs> missing out on a lot. And you're gonna make yourself learn in a way that's maybe not the easiest if you jumped immediately to master rank monsters and patterns without having ground your way up through low and high rank. Got a plate. Nice. Hello, Frank Seal. Hey, Shmegwaskimo. Whoops, now we can steal eggs with impunity, yeah. Well, it's also the default, Lord Castellian. They're the easiest weapons to make and they start you in the guardian armor. So it's like it's not like it, it's not like an option there. It's like a, oh you can turn the difficulty down. It's like no, the difficulty's turned down by default. Like, you're given the tools to bash the game in by default. And that's powerful. Most folks won't know the difference to turn it off. Beat the base game, you just never touched Iceborne or any of the Master Rank stuff. I would encourage you to spend time playing through the base game again. I think you will have more equipment that means more to you when you get to Iceborne or get to the Master Rank stuff when you get there. And you'll also be able to kind of pick out some of the differences between low and high rank and master rank, and you'll have refreshed experience with low and high rank to build on for master rank. If you just skip right there, you're going to have to learn some of the toughest stuff in the game right away. Which, I mean, you can probably still do, but I wouldn't recommend it. I should have put that Rathian charge blade on my wish list so I could see how many spikes I needed still. Yeah, that's humor. So you're just gonna like if 
I mean, like, if you're short for time, sure. But if you if you <laughs> if you if you paid sixty bucks or more than sixty bucks for it, like, dude, play through the whole thing. Don't just skip to the end. You're missing so much of the game. And if you take the equipment from like master rank and go back to low and high rank, it won't pose any challenge. It won't be any fun. So it's just like, it's worth experiencing the game with the gear that you've got in low and high rank. Like normally, I think. But I'm pretty opinionated about this. If somebody feels different about it, I don't care. I mean, like, I don't judge them for it. They can play the game however they'd like to. I'm just going to be over here preaching my way too. Okay, Rathian. That's something really cool about this series, is like, this series has a multitude of ways to enjoy it in each of the games. I feel like as the series has gone on, they have done a really good job of diversifying the number of things that you could conceivably really enjoy about the games to the point where like, you might really enjoy multiplayer or collecting things or and tracking down endemic life or taking photographs or doing speed runs or whatever it is. There's so many different things where like, you can play a really full experience focusing on something completely different than me or a speed runner or like whoever else. And I think that's cool. That to me is one of the series greatest strengths is there's so much depth, so many mechanics and all of it is made in a way that like is good and like respects the player. And well, yeah, I honestly think this game respects the player. That like it's all it, it's all able to be experienced in a way that you'd like like that. There aren't many game series that I think have bre the breadth and the depth of Monster Hunter. But I'm pretty biased, so <laughs> I'm over here with like a meat on my shirt. I'm pretty freaking biased. Don't listen to me. she here? No. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can quote that one. We can quote that one, Shadow Upon the Tempest. One second. <laughs> oh god! I reloaded chat by accident. How did I even do that? <laughs> One second here. Shed meat. Sorry for the delay. What? Must have screwed up the command. There we go. Oh, that was funny. Okay, now we can go hunt Rathian. Where'd she fly off to next? She's over in the Grove of Trees right now. All right, let's get to the Grove of Trees. I thought I heard wings. <laughs> she is moving. Where is the Rathian train stop? My goodness. Maybe up there in the tree. Maybe that's where it stops. Yeah, here's where it stops. Okay. Missed. 
Yeah, we added a lot of quotes during Rise. We went a little crazy with it. Hello, Slit Sampler. Welcome. How you doing? Oh, you can't get under the wall. Whoops. <laughs> she backed up. that move. I don't even know what she just did there. That's weird. Uh-oh. Oh, we're stunned, aren't we? Are we stunned, too? No, we're not. We're good. you get sucked into her legs in this game. Now we're stunned. Dead? Nope, not quite. Been taking a Monster Hunter break recently, but this has you wanting to, has you wanting to pick it up again. When you do, I hope you have fun. Take your time. having me take a weird way to get to her. Oh, I didn't know you could drop down here. Oh, I never knew you could go down this way. That's kind of wild. <laughs> I never knew this was here.
game looks so dark. It's still really contrasty, Uchi. I played around with the color settings a bit earlier this afternoon. But it's also nighttime, so like it is dark. We can play around with the, with the color settings a little bit more here in a minute. How are you tonight, Mr. Uchi? It's good to see you. We made Rathian armor. We're trying to make the Rathian charge blade, and then we're going to take on Rathalos and Diablos. Makes you want to fix it? I've tried, dude. I can't. Maybe you can help me on stream here, or after stream or something. I tried butsing with your with your reshade settings, and I couldn't fix it. Or I couldn't. Like, it's not your settings. It's my settings. They're super dark, but I couldn't. I couldn't get it to a place where I was happy with it. If I if I raise the brightness a bunch, it makes the the daytime too bright. I don't know why. Slightly inebriated. <laughs> well, happy weekend to you, mister. We have been world enjoying. We've been world discussing. It's been a good stream. There's a wall there. She can fall through the wall, but I can't shoot through the wall. Oh well. Poor Rathian getting bullied hard. That's okay. We fall out Rath Rathian at this point. Tail? Ooh, thank you. I would have forgotten it. You guys are you guys are very kind. The tail has a good chance to give us the spike, I think. Give me that nice tail card. Got a spike. Good stuff. That's what we're here for. Rathalos of Around the World, World and World? No. The last game to feature Around the World was um, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Oh, nope. That was supposed to be a SAED. Well, we broke something. Or, that was supposed to be an AED. Rise kind of has it. Not really. It has a similar thing built into its regular moveset, but it's not all scripted and crazy like Around the World used to be. What hit me? I guess her jumping up onto that next level hit me? Okay. Sag? Mm -mm. I'm not Sag that move is gone. That move is like, it's kind of fun to try and dunk him out of it, but that move is not a good time. <laughs> Yeah, I figured out what happened, Lord Castellian. It's just it I'm not I'm not I'm not to the point of familiarity with this game where I expect that to happen to me. She's going to go up to the up to the Rathalos nest. Let's go head up that way. I went to that campsite, but I don't think it lets me physically unlock that camp yet, which is a bummer because I could really use it.
which moves around the world. The world around the world is the Jeez, that's terrifying sounding. That was Anjanoth, right? Jeez. Oh no, wait. That's Rathalos. That's the noise it makes when two monsters of a pair are together. There's the same there's one for Legiana too that sounds amazing and terrifying. Yeah, that was a call to Rathalos there. That was added in Iceborne and it freaked people out. It freaked me out. The first time I heard that, I like it's like very intimidating. Yeah, the move that's around the world is when Rathalos will fly off in a circle around the map like two or three times that you're in in the old games and then dive bomb at you and usually miss. You can unlock the camp at the top. I've already been by it, Uchi, but it doesn't give me the option to deliver anything to it, deliver anything for it at the at the resource center. I can't unlock it. You didn't enter it then? I did. I'll do it again right now. <laughs> If I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I like quit that quest or something, but. I definitely walked through and it just definitely said like, oh, this is a good spot for a camp. Go to complete deliveries at base. I did. It didn't let me. <laughs> it wasn't there. I looked because I wanted to unlock it. Ouch, camera. What was that? There was a Grimalkin back there. No? Oh. Well. I don't think, I don't know if it says that same, I must have already went to it because I think that was a different message than before. That was a different message than before. Must have abandoned the quest. No, that was a different message than it normally says there, I think. It said this this camp is being set up. Check your request at the delivery center. Are they fighting each other? Oh god, they're mad. This is gonna be a mess. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen here. I just wonder. <laughs> have I ever played World of Warcraft? No. See you, sucker! We already had that turned off, Dragon on Fire, and it still did that. Yeah, she didn't die to fall damage. We already killed her once with the fall damage from the falls earlier, earlier this stream. Your PC froze as soon as you got the gift. Quill, thank you for the gift sub to Uchi. I thought she was going to fly all the way back up again. I was going to be mad. Whoops. Whew, her mouth is so detailed. A dunk. There's that. Isn't it great, Schmeg? I was just talking about you the other night with those mugs. Okay, that was one carve. Where are my other carves? There we go. Love that you're going for you style. I know you can charge your sword or charge the axe, but this is how I think base world CB was played. I need to do more SAEDs, but charge blade's great in, in world. This feels fun. I like this. Okay, let's see. Um, We might have enough for her, for her charge blade now. We'll see. 
We'll also go check to see if we can deliver anything for that camp. I don't think we can. Another plate and more wing talons. That's three plates now. I don't I don't have any other um freaking sub badges unlocked, Eskimo or Schmeg Schmeg. I have to I have to be partner to unlock anymore. We could still get them prepped in advance, but I can't I can't put on any more uh, sub badges yet. Yeah, I know Iceborne added the Savage Axe, yeah. Close to partner? Who knows? Something they don't tell you, like, they tell you that, like, you should be hitting, like, an average of around 75 viewers per stream. And, like, when they do, then you can apply for partner. What they don't tell you is, like, they expect you to, like, do that and a lot more. And then they will actually, <laughs> then they will actually take a look at your channel and be like, yeah, sure. I've applied, like, three or four times and they've been like, yeah. We're looking to see your channel continue to grow more. And it's like, oh, so you can just start engaging in this dialogue when you're at 75 average viewers, not actually get partner when you're at 75 average viewers. And I'm not upset about it. Like, it's not core to my being to be a Twitch partner or whatever. It's just like, I wish they told you up front, like, this is when you can start having this conversation, but that's not when we usually give out partner. Oh, I got you, Schmeg. Never mind. All right, let's see if we can upgrade this into the Rathian charge blade. We can. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Cheers, Quill. Shmeg and Uchi, enjoy those subs straight from Quill to you. And Quill, cool, thank you. Good to know. Yeah, that's something that people don't particularly talk about a ton, but yeah. That seems to be how the partner system works. Is like, I feel like if you have an existing audience somewhere else and they can see your stream is popping off really quickly, they might not make you wait long. But for someone like me, where like depending on what game I stream or just how good Monster Hunter on Twitch is doing, I might go up and down a little bit. They just want to watch and I guess wait for me to grow a little more. Just wait to see that my stream isn't going to fall off or something. We'll see. I should I should apply again soon. I haven't in a while. Haven't since the spring, I don't think. All right, we've got our charge blade. That means it's time. What do you guys think, Diablos or Rathalos? Have we already killed a Rathalos? I forget. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a poll. We're gonna take on one of the two apex predators here. Feel free and chuck in what you'd like to see me do first. It's going to be with Charge Blade. Seems like Diablos is winning pretty handily. That's what I would rather do anyways. I feel decked to the nines with a Rathian Charge Blade and a Rathian Armor. Yeah, I feel, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good. I have no idea why, but you can never see Twitch polls. It might not work on mobile, or if you're on a TV, it might not show up or something. I don't know. If you're on the, if you're on desktop Twitch, it should definitely show up. Do you have to set it up to not have any Iceborne features, or are they still there and you're just not using them? They're still here. I'm just not using them. I'm not using the Clutch Claw. I'm not using a whole lot of the moves that were added in Iceborne. I'm not using the, the, the gear that lets you boost past low and high rank really easily. Check the deliveries. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, complete deliveries. Oh, I'm just an idiot. I was looking in bounties, and I was like, where is the camp bounty? Don't worry about it. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> All right, we need some Vespoid shells and Monster Bone Large to finish those ones in the wastes. There we go. Sorry, folks. You are doing tired, as you said yourself. I am doing tired. All right, it looks like Diablos is winning, like, hands down.
I'm actually doing better now than I was at the beginning of the stream. At the beginning of the stream, I was feeling quite tired. All right, we will not get one shot by Diablos anymore. That's good. I am going to use the bathroom before we do this hunt, and then we'll go hunt our first Diablos. See you guys in just a moment. All right, we're back. Let's go hunt that Diablos. BRB Texas still on there. Whoops. All right. Let's get it.
feels good to feel comfortable running around these maps. I'm sure there's, I, I, I just found a path in the ancient forest that I didn't know existed there last, last quest, but it feels nice to kind of, I don't know, feel at home running around in the maps again. Well, there's a Rathian. We can hunt her again, too. If the Diabolos goes well enough, maybe we'll hunt her as well. Is there slinger ammo in here? There was back here. There was some red pit, I think. Uh, oh, man. Way back in here. I wanted to do something cool with uh, the Baroth and the Noyos, but I can't find any slinger ammo. Oh, there's some. Bright moss. That'll work. Imagari Tarila. Lo Olekuda. Miratumi. Right, is the Baroth still there? Let's see. There's probably some slinger ammo over there on the on the actual slopes out here. Yeah, there's stones right there. What a dummy. Oh well. That's okay. We can still do the thing with the Noyos. Let's go. It's a big one. Hmm. Whoops. Here we go. Knocked us back to. Uh oh. That cactor was a Final Fantasy collab thing, wasn't it? Yes, sir was. Do I listen to the strokes? I have not. Oh, still does a lot of damage even in our new armor. Good. I wouldn't want it to be a pushover. Bear off. Got poison on him. That's nice. Whoop, bonk. I forgot how easy it is to get hit by that move in this in this game. I honestly think his dig in this game is scarier than it is in Rise. Maybe I'm like maybe I'm like tripping out, or it's just like easy to be more mobile in Rise or something. But I've gotten hit by that dig way more times in this low rank Diablos than I ever got hit by it at all in Rise. His dig is not scary in Rise. Oof. 
Can we hit the tail with the physical part of that move? We have a shield, we're gonna use it. We are gonna use our shield to help with this move. Thanks, Uchi. I rocked right into it. Okay, sure. Sure. <laughs> Bonked on the head, I suppose so. Just grazed the top of our head and took out that last little bit of HP. This map is pretty. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that little jump, but that's okay. Nope, missed the roar. I don't even know if you can roll his roar. In the old games, you can't. In this game, I feel like you probably can. Oh god, for some reason, I thought I could back hop. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Oh, the Noyos ran away! I was trying to be ready so I could sheath and hit a Noyos while I was digging, and they all ran away to another area, so I couldn't do it. What jerks. Where was that horn? I guess I didn't even sheath. I tried to sheath, but I guess I didn't even do it there. Dig, come on. <laughs> do, do you think you'll do the little world side quests? When we do an actual thorough, proper playthrough of Monster Hunter World, yes. In this playthrough, probably not at all of it. Some of it, though. Dodge their attacks. The game is now telling me how to evade. Thank you, game. 
That's what I'm trying to do, Uchi. I'm trying to wait from the dig and then go for the Noyos to get Sonic Bomb effects, and every time he's done it, I haven't been able to sheath, or I've been, like, away from the Noyos. The one time where I had the timing, the Noyos all, like, clustered up whatever they're doing over here. <laughs> so I couldn't do it. Look at these jerks. What are these idiots doing? Get wrecked. There we go. Now they're leaving. Can we do Lashin so we can crap all over it? Probably not. Not in this playthrough. Eventually in our, in our in our real world playthrough, yeah. We need to heal. <clears throat> it's the Witcher collab quest, yeah. And now they're all gone. Now I can't get them. <laughs> Fake playthrough? This isn't a bridged playthrough. If I was actually playing through, we'd be trying to do all of the sub-quests and all the side-quests along the way, instead of, like, coming back and doing them or something. That's the thing, is, like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually dedicate the time to play through this game with the kind of thoroughness I want to for at least a year from now. And so it's like, I, I want to experience some of this game while I can. I don't want to wait. So here we are. too far away. That sucks. Alright, you idiots. Did you get it? No. I never got it. I wanted to. I used the I used the Noyos to summon him from underground, but I never got to actually use them while he was up here. They were always too far away, or I didn't get to sheath in time. Couldn't pull it off. Wanted to, though. You can throw without sheathing. Right. I remember that I did get added an ice point, right? Whoops. Oh, what? That looped like around his head. I'm bad. Is the straight axe on sheath guard point introduced in world? I don't know. Whoops.
I'm so used to freaking G rank Diablos from 4 you. I was like, oh no, the fake taunt into charge. I'm gonna die, but nope. Should have been a guard point. I stubbornly refuse. I refuse that verdict there. The game is wrong. <laughs> Clear and simple. No, when you were unsheathing, there was no guard point in fourth gen, or at least there was no guard point in four ultimate. Like, when you were sheathed, there was no guard point when you were unsheathing in 4 Ultimate. We already did Basil Wise. I haven't delivered the stuff to unlock it yet. I already explored through the through the actual Wild Spire itself. Got the camp in there. This game might have that guard point. I know there was one of them uh, in in Generations Ultimate. One of the styles had, had an unsheathed guard point, I think. Maybe. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there is one in this game. A guard point when you unsheath. I could be wrong though. I don't know. That would be a question for a charge blade buff. I didn't play charge blade at all when I last played world. Charge blade's just like similar enough across some of the games where like I can pick up charge blade tonight even though I've never played it in this game and be like, yep, this is fun. We're enjoying ourselves. <laughs> you're all good, Uchi. I'm just happy you're here. Ooh, he's in his lair. I like it more than Rise CB. This is so much better than Rise Charge Blade. It's not even funny. <laughs> the rest of the game, at least in low rank here, the rest of the game isn't so fast that it out outpaces all of Charge Blade's options. The damage feels good. The SADs actually connect with monsters. It's crazy. Currently doing it with Lance. Nice, that's fugly. Lance in this game, or Lance in whatever game, is pretty fun. Look at that light shaft shining down on him. That's pretty. It's been a long time since I fought Diablos in this area. Look at those footprints, too. That's cool. This is my first time down into this area, this playthrough. And I'm sure some of the things that are in Master Rank in this game are fast enough that they make Charge Blade feel rough, but I feel like even then the damage that you've got combined, like the damage that you've got on AEDs combined with the damage that you've got, the damage potential you've got on SAED makes it less so like mo so much more of Charge Blade's kit is worth trying to use in average fights in this game. No damage numbers in map? Really going authentic, huh? Yeah. Yep. I want to learn the maps, and in general, I want to learn the hit zones by looking at them in a database after after my first time hunting a monster, rather than just going off of the damage numbers. The damage numbers kind of distract me when I'm hunting a lot of the time. They make my brain think more about numbers and less about like some other parts of the fight, but that's a personal thing. 
<laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that was a lucky little guard point there. That was not on purpose. Alright, he's limping. But we're on our last cart. Or... <laughs> I guess we're in an expedition, so we don't necessarily have a last cart. But he will leave the locale soon either way. So we gotta be careful. Hmm... He's dead! We did it! Didn't cut the tail, but that's okay. Broke both the horns. That was our first Diablos in this playthrough, and we did it nice and early before Zora. Are you fighting them before time? We're fighting them before Zora, yeah. Both Diablos and Rathalos. I basically just want to hunt every monster that's available before we go hunt Zora. Just for fun, not for any particular reason. And just because I'm not really here to progress through the game, I'm more so just here to revisit world and have fun experiencing different parts of it. So experiencing it like this and kind of the the balancing of the monsters even before you get through Zora and stuff like that is kind of interesting. All right, that means let's head back to the hub and get ready for Rathalos. But you're almost done, what, with, with low rank and high rank or something? No. Once a week makes sense. Yeah, no. Just low rank? Yeah, no, we're not almost done with low rank. Nope. In reality, Rish just doesn't want to fight Zora. I mean, when the compare when the options are like have fun making armor and experiencing weapons or hit rocks, it's like eh. <laughs> I'd rather not just hit rocks. All right, um, got Diablos down? We just did, yeah. We carded two times. Rathalos is there. Let's get it. There are rocks that are fun to hit. The ones that give charms are pretty good, yeah. Like the Iceborne rocks? Yeah, there is a pretty good rock or two in Iceborne. That's fair. Look at this lovely new camp we've got ourselves. Let's have a nice dinner with a view out the top of the tree. Defense up small. Defense up medium with polisher. Let's take that one. We only got Feline Provoker. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Alright. Let's go bag ourselves a bird. We meet again. Last time we were hunting him, he one-shot us with a lot of his moves.
Oh no. Oh, that move poisons. I forgot. Oh, I forgot how that had fire. I don't remember anything about World Rathalos, in case you couldn't remember, or in case you couldn't tell. Water up here, that's good to know. I guess that makes sense with water up here, of course. I like that he taunts after that move. <sighs> I will say so far my impressions of World Rathalos having only fought Ride Rath Like, when I fought Rise Rathalos, I couldn't remember what World Rathalos was like. So far my impressions of World Rathalos are quite poor. Quite poor. <laughs> I just don't think I fought him that much, and I didn't pay that much attention in in when I was playing World. Like I, it was before I started streaming, really. So I didn't like take notes or like really chronicle away my uh, my thoughts on monsters. But I hadn't really remember what he was like. It seems like he can stay in the air too long without coming down very much. And I'll get better at dealing with him when I actually can like recognize the different moves he's got in the air. Obviously, that's like the pain point that's going on right now. But it seems like he can stay in the air a long time. Hello, DJ Peter, what's up? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll get better at that Precious Stones as I can recognize the moves he's got. I don't even know all the moves he's got in the air right now. They're different moves than Rise, so they're, they're catching me off guard. Everything? Everything's up? Well, hi. Welcome. Laughing a good amount. It's fair. I haven't played this game in a long time. I'm sure it's quite laughable to watch me try. Oh, something else happened previously? Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're laughing. It's a good way to be.
Can I heal? That's not what I meant to do. <sighs> oh, visually? Sure, yeah. The way this raft is flying around is visually quite cool. I don't know if I like this as a fight design, but he sure looks like a bird. This looks like what a, a creature that flies would do. That's for sure. That's interesting. Cuz tail, huh? I wasn't expecting to. what World Rathalos is like again. Haven't played World for a couple months. I don't think I've played this game in about a year and a half, maybe more.
His eyes are so pretty in this game. using the rad chainsaw move not yet i doubt we'll use it in this playthrough because it's from iceborne we're trying not to use stuff like i'm not i'm not going to say that i'm not going to use anything that was added in iceborne but we're trying not to use stuff that was added in iceborne i mean like we'll use it when we get to master rank if we get to master rank in this playthrough but before then i just want to use stuff that was mainly in the base game that's all I know I can't properly recreate the experience of base world because it's been pretty shifted with the Iceborne updates that have been added to this game, but I don't know, it's just, that's the philosophy at which we're, we're approaching this. If there's something I really like from Iceborne, then I'll probably use it, but so far it's like, I, for one, I'm still learning the controls f for base world, and I feel like the Iceborne controls were kind of like ham-fisted on top of the weapon movesets already in the game from base world, so it's like, I can't remember, I can't even remember the input to get into, into Pizza Axe mode. Or, like, to fire my slinger during combat with half of the weapons and just, like, I don't know. It's, I can't remember. I'm having a hard time learning all the base base world movesets, much less adding on all those weird, crazy Iceborne keybinds that I can't remember the heck. <laughs> Eventually, someday, we'll remember them all, but I, I don't. I never learned them all when it came out, so it's, like, I don't know. There's a lot to learn still. Gradually. Gradually. Those flames do look really good. Hello, Ninja Frog. How's this go? How's it going? It's going well. We're having a nice time tonight. We we ground up the Rathian charge blade in our last piece of Rathian armor. We killed the Diablos, and now we're killing Rathalos early. Killing both those dudes early before taking on the Sora Magdaros. files. Whatever. Away he goes. I mean, I love me some Savage Axe Mode in, in Rise, or whatever they call it. Condensed Spinning Axe Mode in Rise. I really do. It's a great move. It feels really fun to use. But, I don't know. Like I said, I, I want to try and experience more of what this game was balanced like and what this game was played like during the base game, rather than jump straight into the Iceborne stuff, which I know you can do.
only a keen pair of eyes or the game to cram the camera towards the Grimalkins <laughs> to follow them. Yeah, more wind pressure, please. I like the noises our hunter makes. <laughs> I just really make it like a noise. It's goofy. Stunned? Stunned, yeah. This might hit us. That might hit us. That's gonna hit us, okay. That's it! Both Apex Predators slayed. Want to replay world? Oddly, you feel like playing through with Insect Wave, just let you fly around and not bother learning the monsters. <laughs> Best of luck. Eventually, you'll, feed, you'll run into some stuff that won't let you do that. Eventually. Here we go. Didn't see it. Do it again. Eventually, we will, DJ Peter. We will, we will again sometime. All right, we got time. What do you guys think? Do we do a Zora Magdaros tonight? I think we do. Want to defend IG, but you got nothing. I mean, aerial IG isn't that strong. Like, I mean, like, you can use that if you don't want to. <laughs> if you don't want, I don't know. If, if you don't want to have a good time clearing monsters, you can do that. I feel like it doesn't deal that much damage. Good night, Basil boy. Thanks for being here tonight. Rest well, buddy. All right, let's buy some rations. Ow. Ow. 
Oh, you can't buy rations. Never mind. Gotta go ask for rations from the chef, don't you? Maybe we haven't even unlocked that feature yet. Let's go see. Oven roast. Nice. Alright. Zora Magda roast time. Cheers, fish. <laughs> I like Handler. One for the history books. May the Sapphire Star guide us all. What build you rock in there? We just have full Rathian armor. Before this, we had the Hunter's armor. We only had 30 defense, so we made this. It has these skills, but they're not particularly skills. I guess poison attack helps with applying poison with this charge blade, but it was just some armor to get some, some extra defense. We're in low rank. Whoops. Shoot. Where'd the rations go? Oh, there they are. like a chirp. Maybe I bumped something, Uchi. No, I don't know, like, the speedrun strats for this where you... Like, I know a lot of the things I ask you to do are not necessary to clear the quest. I'm just gonna do this like I would normally do it. I'm gonna do, like, what the game is telling me to do. Because I know you can skip some stuff, but I don't know which ones you, you skip. Be sure to mine. We will mine, yeah, I know that much. I know there's some good materials we can't get elsewhere. At least not right now. I'd forgotten about the blue scout flies. Big turtle. At least the music's good. Cans and ballista. Wear the beast down. Okay. Alright, we got a cannon there. Let's grab some ballista. Oh, I don't have damage numbers. <laughs> oh, God. Well, the visual feedback for that is quite poor. I hope it's hitting. I have no idea if it is.
You can see some dust if you're close enough. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. You're out of range, sir, am I? Oh yeah, I can see the dust now. You're right. I couldn't tell. Now I know. Nice alloy armor, dude. Cool. You whistling? I was, yeah. Oh, I forgot to bring my cat. I wanted to bring my cat on this quest and I forgot. Oh shoot. Don't want to use that yet. Can't you go to the tent and pull him out now? I can, yeah. I guess I might. Although I might not. I know we get to fight Nergigante at the end of this quest, and I don't know if I want my cat there for that. I don't know. I'm ready to form some fresh impressions on this fight. I haven't done this fight in so long. The game said to weaken him with the cannons and ballista, and so far I'm having kind of fun moving around and shooting him. We broke two parts. Feels good to break parts. I don't know what else I can break on him. Maybe his arms? The rocks on his shoulders. Did you break his beard? We did. Have we broken his head and his beard so far? Shoot. I missed with the... I don't even know if we're supposed to use binders yet. I didn't mean to. Now fire? I mean, I don't know. I guess we were. Poor Zora. You can really see how he's a turtle right now. And see where his neck's coming out of the shell. The game didn't tell me to use the ballista binder. 
I'm not totally sure I was supposed to yet. Stays ballista bound for quite a while, doesn't he? There we go. Ants, Pog. Excuse me. Whoa, look at those claws! Smash. Can I hit him? I want to hit him. Can I climb on? I want to climb on. Oh, <laughs> that would have been interesting. I don't know, I don't mind multitasking Ballista and Cannons against him. Knowing that it doesn't really matter if I do is kind of a bummer. Um, it's also kind of like, from what I've heard, this was like a pretty intense part of their development for this game. Like, they spent a lot of development resources on this one particular fight encounter. So the fact that it's not more interactive with the things you actually do is really a bummer. Not weak enough for capture, eh? Okay. Yeah, I like that the NPCs load the cannons. Like, the fact that they do that means that you can kind of run around and multitask the environment, and it feels cool. I like that. The barrier has been destroyed. I'm assuming I'm supposed to let that happen. Next phase. Grab your transports. Okay. Get to a hitching post. I think there's one up here. Wait for it to let me. There we go. Okay, let's make sure we mine. And I know it doesn't really matter if we hit the Magna Cores at all. I'll still do it in between mining, but I mainly want to mine. Get some Zora Magdros materials we can use for upgrades.
I'm aware of that fish. I, I know that, like, the things they ask you to do... Like, that's kind of the lame part, is, like, you'd hope for a quest like this where there are so many moving parts. You've got Ballista, you've got Magma Cores, you've got NPCs, you can jump on the monster and hit it for a while. Like, it's kind of cool. You'd hope for a quest that had so many moving parts that the things that they're asking you to do would have an impact on how well you do in the quest. The fact that the things that they're asking you to do directly inhibit your progress on the quest are really a bummer. Like, I don't understand how you spend a lot of time making a, uh, a quest like this and then not realize that that's, like, a, an issue. <laughs> like, if the things you're asking the player to do are directly against what makes the quest go by better or gets you more materials or makes the thing go by quicker, I don't know, you got a problem there. I was trying to guard for that. Oh well. I mean, not just Lost Planet, but like, like other fights in the series have done this concept much better. Just not quite as grand visually. Like, I think Dalamadur and both Jen and Daran are better implementations of the same of this same idea of like a large boss that you can mount and affect different parts of it that will either make the quest go by quicker or slower or net you more part breaks. Like, that already exists, and those fights are pretty fun. Like, I mean, if you have to grind them out on repeat, it's not super fun. But I really like Jen and Daran and Dalamadur. They're super cool. So, I don't know. It's a bummer that this fight didn't turn out more like that. It had the potential to and it just didn't. But like I said, I'm trying to form, like, I'm trying to, like, keep my mind open so I can form fresh impressions of, like, what is this experience like if I was playing through this as a new player and I was just doing what the game told me and attacking the magma cores. Like, what does this feel like? Changing posture. <laughs> Oops. Oh, <laughs> I fell into a seam. Oops. Hit the meteors. The meteors actually killed my first RTA attempt of this game. I tried to do RTA in this game a long time ago now, and I got randomly like one or two shot by so many random falling meteors that I was like, "This is this is obnoxious. I'm I'm good." I just like didn't come back and try it again. <laughs> Can you hit that from here? I guess you can. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I can do it. Oh, you're talking about meteors in- <laughs> You're talking about the meteors in Dalla Madero. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta talk about the meteors in this- in this fight.
And like, yeah, the bummer, the bummer about these things that they're asking you to do, like actually detracting from the fight, is like it doesn't feel like they've made a, a fight where you actually have systems of the monster that you can influence and affect. It's like this monster is just like a charade. Like it's all just, it's all just a show. It's a one big set piece of like, hit the big rocks. You're chipping away at this monster's health, and it's really just like, nope, you're not doing anything really. It's too bad. Yeah, it's too bad. None of these slots are new, by the way. They're just I'm thinking I'm thinking out loud as we experience it. That's all. And like I'm not hating this or anything because I haven't done it in years, but. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel as interactive, especially knowing the charade, like knowing the behind the scenes of like, nothing I do really affects this monster. That's lame, but I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think through it as we go, as we experience Zora Magdaros together for the first time this playthrough. Yeah, I know ProCal, I know it is. I am aware. you do that. Can I attack his tummy? You can! I don't know if those files actually went anywhere. I don't think those files actually did anything. Turn on damage numbers? Nah. Oh! <laughs> Here they come. Here comes the magma. Magma. <laughs> magma. Let me climb. What the hell? You almost did redeem magma. I did it for you. Don't worry. Hot. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, it's the Nerg Arena. What is happening in the fight right now? Uh, Zora is working his way from barrier one to barrier two. Meanwhile, we're chipping away at his magma cores. Maybe broken most of them? I'm also just mainly trying to find mining spots so I can get more ore. But yeah, actually we're just waiting for a timer to count down. And the more you flinch him with the magma course and make him change posture, the longer the timer takes.
But yeah, like I said, this doesn't make me like, I'm not like raging at Zora. It's just like, this just makes me sad. There's potential here for a really cool siege fight and it just did not, it just did not happen. Right your binders. Fire! What's that? What is that black figure up in the sky? Traveling via Wing Drake, and it just warps you there. <laughs> Let's go! You have to admit, this is a cool way to experience the flagship for the first time. Oh gosh. <laughs> Why are the tips of his horns black? Probably because they've lived a long time. Okay. Knock down into jump. How do we get back to the Nurgigante? This camera? The camera? Oh, that was it. Well, it's still a cool way of seeing the flagship monster for the first time. I wish that went on a little longer. Fighting Nurg is optional, you can just ignore him and go back to mining. Yeah, this quest is kind of a mess. Happens twice, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's okay, Shadow Pun Tempest. That's called suspension of disbelief. That's that's all right. So do you, though, FPS? Uh, 
I don't Hot Pocket, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you call a Nintendo game? Yeah, that quest is... that quest is something. We did it! Is this the Monster Hunter language? It is, yeah. Gotcha, Hot Pocket. Have fun with that. I hope you enjoy Monster Hunter World 2. It will be made just for you. I hear there will be an arc where you can get into a dating sim with the Huntsman. Or the Serious Handler. But there are microtransactions. Sorry. It just comes with the territory. I hope y'all are here for that, because that's the kind of humor you can expect out of this stream. Hey, Vamgla. Um, I don't know if it's just because I've I've seen the cutscenes before, but my impression of every cutscene and like dialogue we've had with characters is I'm. It's not just that like I mean the, the story's okay, but it's just. When I'm in Monster Hunter games, I'm not reading the dialogue because I'm like waiting with bated breath to find out like what is the what is the 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 commission gonna do next. It's like no, when I read Monster Hunter dialogue, it's because the localization the localization team genuinely does an amazing job of making each character have fun like audible quirks to read in dialogue. Like there are puns, there's fun little things, there's just little details you can learn through reading the dialogue, and that's really interesting and enjoyable. This game doesn't have that. Like, if I was reading this, I would be bored. Like, normally I, I voice act the games when I when I play them. Like, I'll read the, the dialogue out loud. This game, I would be bored out of my mind doing that. Like, the dialogue doesn't... It's just... there's It, it feels lifeless. Very dry. Very serious. And I don't really like that. Somebody might, but... I think it misses the mark pretty hard. That's how it felt so far. I mean, I'm like, I feel like there are examples of funny dialogue. Like it exists, and sometimes it's in cutscenes, but not very often. Hello, spooky poogie. New products in stock. What do we get? Some bombs. Nice. Oh yeah, clearly. Clearly they were trying something new with coffee. I just, like... I'm trying to give impressions of the game that are not just bashing or hating. And, like, there are neat things about it. I don't know. Hey, we have a Rathian quest for real now. That's nice. It's just something I wanted to mention because it's like there's only so like and that's just a little thing, right? But there's a lot like I was talking about earlier, there's a lot of little things in this game that just add up to me overall like 
having lots of little pain points that make it hard for me to enjoy this game on the whole when I play it. When I've played it in the past and sometimes I, like when we've been visiting it, I've been enjoying it because it's fr I haven't played it in a long time and there are things to enjoy. There are lots of little to medium to big things to enjoy here, but there are lots of little things that I have a hard time enjoying. They are numerous enough in this game that it, it, it strikes me when I play it. But, I mean, like, part of that is them probably making a decision to go for a more serious tone. And, like, part of it to me just smacks of them just not having enough time and not having enough money and not having enough effort. Why would you name all the item descriptions, like, totally bland? Like, you don't have to make them funny. You, but, like, why would you make every single one, like, a scale from this monster used in this kind of crafting? A scale from this monster, but it's rare. Wow. Like, there's no reason they would do that outside. Like, that's not, like, more serious. That's not more trip. That's not more high polish. That's just like you ran out of time, or you ran out, or you just didn't dedicate your 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 resources there, and that's okay. It's just like it's clear that this game was them starting over so many things all at once, from map designs to armors to weapons to the feel of the combat to story to like all of it. That they just didn't have the resources to put, to touch every to put like they didn't have the resources to put the same level of detail that they put into the maps or they they let they put into some other aspects of this game that are genuinely really good into every little detail of the game not that every monster hunter game does that and everything is like equally good in all the other monster hunter games it's just like yeah skiffy i have a really good video for you to watch about that not everything about world is casualized some things are some things aren't I think just saying in general, world is casualized, so like, wow, like that's just kind of reductive. We have no new assigned quests. It's not an insult. I know. I'm not saying it's an insult, but I think that's still a reductive take. Like, I think there's nuance there you're not really getting at when you say, oh, it's casualized to this. Two nights in a row from Pikmin Jake. Welcome, folks. How's it going? Welcome, Jaden the Fox. Welcome, welcome, guys. Hope Pikmin Jake, you had a nice stream tonight. Now, where am I supposed to go to talk to somebody? Oh, I'm supposed to go out. Oh, right, 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 right. There's an investigation I'm supposed to go on. I remember now. What you playing on? We're playing on PC. I played on PS4 the last time I played through World, so we're I, I got a PC recently finally that can that can play this kind of game, so we're here doing that. I hope you guys had a nice time at Pikmin Jake stream today. Saw you guys were playing more four ultimate, getting some more Kieran. Ooh, great ravine at nighttime. I haven't played this game in a long time. Uh, we played it like two years ago. Let me go ahead and shout out Pikmin Jake. For those of you who weren't here last night, Pikmin Jake is the guy who made the like multi-hour video about Monster Hunter Dose a while back. They care about Monster Hunter a whole lot. So if you want to watch someone like that on Twitch, go ahead and follow their stream. Didn't anticipate raiding again, but you were live again. I'm live, I'm live at this time most nights of the week. But cheers. How was your stream, Pikmin Jake? One night a week right now, I'm dedicating to revisit, revisiting World because I haven't played World in like a year and a half, two years, and I won't have time to really properly replay it on stream for a long time still. So we're forming some fresh impressions of things. The last time I played World, it was my second Monster Hunter game, so I, I didn't pay as much attention to things, and I wasn't able to compare things as much. It's interesting playing through it again. You're very bored. <laughs> Sorry, Jaden. Do these guys have any cute dialogue? Not really.
This area does look cool at night. What was my first Monster Hunter game? My first Monster Hunter game was Monster Hunter Generations for the 3DS. I tried, like I tried try when I was like 10 or 11 and I bounced off it like I just couldn't wrap my head around the controls. Um, <laughs> Jaden was bored by the Kieran grind. Well, I'm sorry, the Kieran grind is also somehow more interesting than this, I'm assure, I assure you. Although we're gonna get to visit the, uh, the what's it called? I think the Coral Highlands for the first time, which is kind of exciting. Yeah, I bounced off of Try and Four Ultimate before finally actually getting into freaking uh, Generations. Played a lot of that game, played a lot of this game. I first started streaming when I went back after World and played Monster Hunter Free Me Night. I love that game. That game really imprinted on me in terms of how I, like, experience Monster Hunter and think about Monster Hunter these days. It's so dark. We have our colors tweaked. I think it'll be exciting to see what the colors look like here in the Coral coral Highlands. Yeah, this is a fresh playthrough. We're, like I said, we're only playing this once a week on Saturday nights, world weekends. Just so I can remind myself what this game is like. This game, for all the things we like or don't like about it, it tried a lot of things. It was an important game for this series in a lot of ways. And so I think it's going to be important for me going into uh, Sunbreak next year to have fresh impressions of what this game was like so I can kind of compare to how Rise iterated on this particular new idea about Monster Hunter. That's awesome, Hopko. Aha, this place you barely ever come. <laughs> it's pretty though. I think we'll try and go on one more quest and I'll probably end for the night. It's late. If it wasn't daylight savings time rolling back, it would be like past three in the morning now. This is genuinely, I think, one of my favorite areas in world. Like, imagine if this had been Astera. So much more compact. Are you streaming for an extra hour? Probably an extra half an hour. If you play World on PS5, on PS5 it runs at 4K60. And the reloading times would be better. Yep. That was the one thing is like on the PS4, all the different modes run at unlocked frame rates, which means that on the PS4 where it can't hold a constant 30 or a constant 60, it's a mess. Like you get like 35 frames per second at 4K or at 1800p, or you get like 45 frames per second at 1080p. But then on PS5, it's 4K60 because it's unlocked frame rate. It can do 4K60, which is nice. I probably couldn't do 4K60 on this PC because the world just runs like a dog, but... Yeah, that would be the difference, Game God. Same thing with the Series X. And I think Series S. Series S can probably run at 60 frames per second. Probably not 4K, though. Doing a careful expedition into the Coral Highlands. That does sound like fun. Let's go to the Coral Highlands. Yeah, I can see that. Duckboard Quackers, that's crazy. Like, I haven't streamed it. I haven't tried another game. Like, I've played a couple games on this PC since I got it. I got this PC rather recently. I've tried a couple games on it. I've played nothing that that stresses it as much as this game does. It's bizarre. Hey. I'm using that too, Precious Stones. Hey. Aha! Talismans. 
Have I played Monster Hunter Dose yet? Don't know if you mentioned that to me. No, I have not. I played Free Me Night for a long time. How I've played through the games thus far is I've mainly gone... Every time I play a long time through games, right now our main game is 3 Ultimate, right? After that, I don't go in order. Like, I'm not going to go to, like, Monster Hunter 4 after that, or from, from Portable 3rd, I'm not going to go to 3 Ultimate. I, when I spend a long time in Generation, like earlier this year we spent a long time in Monster Hunter Rise, I don't want to dedicate a whole but playthrough to that generation again Damn. for a long time. Like, I want to take a break from, oops, that generation of games for a while, so that when we come back, the combat and the and everything about that game, even if it's a different game, like from Free Me Night to Dose, we'll be, everything about it will be fresh, because it's been a long time since we played through that generation of game. So, <laughs> besides like first gen, I tried Freedom earlier this year and I didn't like it very much. <laughs> I, I tried it. I could not get into it. I think we're probably playing um, 3 Ultimate probably until Rise PC comes out. We're going to play Rise PC a bit, I think. But I think Dose is due. Dose is due at some point. And it's exciting that you can, ac you can access the hub in that game now. Yeah. I liked Free Midnight a ton. Dose is due, like D-U-E. Pikmin Jake there in the chat has, a, has an essay on YouTube about how the main series games for a time focused on making a hunting simulation game, whereas the portable series games focused on more of the combats, the combat side of things and focusing the game on the combat, which was totally like that totally turned my head upside down because to me, how I describe the games is there are three main eras of this, of game design. There's like first and second gen, which de de like re regardless of whether it's a console game or a portable game, I consider it to be like the same general design ethos behind the actual game design. I know the experience of playing on a console version where there's the hub and things take a lot longer to grind up, especially in Dose where you have the different seasons and village upgrades to make. I know it's very different from the portable series. Looking at it from the game design of like the combat, I consider there to be three main eras of Monster Hunter design from first and second gen. I think that's all of them iterating on the same general idea for the combat. And Free Me Night is sort of the culmination of that original idea that they struck out with with Monster Hunter 1. From Try until 4 Ultimate or Generations Ultimate to me is like a second era of Monster Hunter design where they, they took a new idea with for how they wanted the combat to feel and try and iterated on that until they reached 4 Ultimate and then Generations as a spinoff. I don't know if that was totally like I don't always I don't always include that in my description there, and then to me, world is a new a new idea for them of what Monster Hunter game design could be like, and I I'm excited to see them iterate on that because to me, the first crack they take at it, whether it's Monster Hunter One or Monster Hunter Try, isn't always like the most well rounded. There's always going to be something really special about those first cracks at something. Like Monster Hunter World's got some special aspects to it. It is not a perfect game. It's not like well rounded, I would say. So I'm really excited to see where they iterate on this fifth generation game design too. But I'm really excited to play Dose. Make sure you use a PlayStation controller only. Yep, we'll be playing it on a PS3 with a backwards compatible PS2 hardware. So when I when I first um, listened to Pikmin Jake's essay about that, it was really interesting hearing a different point of view where somebody was looking at it from a console or main series versus portable series point of view as opposed to a first era second era third era kind of point of view it's neat i really enjoyed that essay for that point for that difference from how i think about things also let's take in this lovely environment for the first time i have the only mods i have installed are like a performance booster something that makes the uh scout flies less bright and then something that lets me tweak the colors these are the default colors and here's the boosted colors. Just a little bit warmer, a little bit contrastier. We just got a rare one. <laughs> I didn't know. It was lucky. Looks very orange and dark. It does end up looking quite dark. I'm still tweaking the brightness. There's like some weird HDR settings. It's hard to make this game look not too dark without also looking too bright when it's really bright out. 
overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. <gasps> Wigglers! I missed them all. I forget what we're actually supposed to do on this quest, so I don't care. I'm actually just going to wander around like the game asked me to. Look at them go! It's like a convection current. Can I get those duders? Not from here. Maybe from over here I can. Oh, I'm gonna scare these dudes. No! I wanted to catch them. I got one. Look how many there are. There's Legiana. It's on the map already. Sick. Something we did before we took on, we just did Xor Magdaros. It was, it was just okay. Um, <laughs> but before we did that, we, we, we ground up this Rathian armor. We didn't upgrade it at all. But we ground up this Rathian armor and we took on Rathalos and Diablos early, which was fun. So maybe we'll take on Legiana early next stream. It's the pretty place. Hello, Uchi. It is quite pretty on PC. It also seems to run quite well, which is nice. It is Hot Pocket. Thank you. I really enjoyed getting to watch that earlier today. So we're playing along as you're making more custom quests. You were surprised you can fight Legiana here. Me too. We could do it right now, but I'm going to save it for next stream. It's already quite late. We've been going for almost five hours, which is about my stopping point. I'm also, actually, this is my first time ever recording locally an entire stream at 1080p. So we'll see how long, we'll see how large the file size actually was. It's probably going to be uh, kind of big. Palumu. That thing. Cool. We'll fight it some other time. <laughs> The game just holding the vine there like, please let go. It's goofy. Just exploring. I haven't been on this map in so, so long. What's it doing? So they're doing something. 
Oh, it's eating the it's eating the, the leaves. You can see it inhaling the leaves off the trees. Trees? I guess these are trees. It eats eggs. Oh. These are eggs. These are trees with eggs. So green. Look how this would look if we didn't have the if we didn't have the patch for the or we didn't if we didn't have reshade on. This is what this would look like. Oh, dude, looks so nice. Very dark. It's just contrasty. It's contrasty and it's like it's dark out. I don't know. If I made it any brighter, the bright spots would be really, really bright, Uchi. I gotta fine tune it a little more, but I like it being contrasty. I like this area. That's a detail I do like about World is how all the different locales you can kind of see different visual landmarks that kind of gives you a sense of scale and a sense of place in the world. Like you can kind of tell this is on the far side of that great ravine. Outside of just the cutscene obviously telling you that, but it's kind of cool that you can kind of physically see it too. Time to go to bed? It is about time to go to bed. Once we're done exploring through the map, I'll go to bed for the night. And mark the place that might make good campsites. Where did they want me to go? some herbs growing here, don't mind it. <laughs> this area is pretty sick. I feel like I didn't mind fighting here as much as you could have. Like if you like if you imagine this area and how it would have worked in fourth gen, just would have been a mess, right? It actually I feel like it works a little better in this in this game. The verticality works a bit better. The same amount of verticality. Like, if the same amount of verticality was in 4th gen, it would have been kind of rough, but in this game, it's not so bad. The movement helps a lot. Hey, Marths. Welcome back. We'll go back that way in a minute. The game really wants me to go there. There it is. Lagiana. Goodbye. Why don't you do the wedge beam maneuver? All right. See ya. Sorry, can't stop. We're busy. 
<laughs> the game neutered me. Well, neutered my, my wedge beetling. <laughs> That's a cool Legiana, though. Whoa. Got so bright. Oh, wow. Hang on. So pretty. Aqua core ore. That's used for charms, not decorations. <laughs> And he sticks the landing. Sort of. Hello, Kelby. I kind of wanted to just scream at us. I wanted to hear its roar. <laughs> oh well. So blue in here. Cool. Right, that's that. Didn't even watch the Sitsi cutscene. Oh, oops. Oh well. Well, this has been another World Weekend stream. If it was anyone's first time by the stream tonight, my name's Rist. It's nice to meet you. We're going to be slowly enjoying lots of different Monster Hunter games for a long time to come. So if you want to watch some more of that, our main game right now is 3 Ultimate during the weeks. Our next stream is going to be on Monday night. We're doing a podcast with our friend Fallison about Monster Hunter in general. So pop around if you'd like to see us talk together about Monster Hunter topics, big and small. We do have a Discord and a YouTube and a Twitter that you can find the links to in the chat right now. And you can check those out. The YouTube and Twitter are mainly just updates. I'm going to be posting VODs there and just tweets when we go live. The Discord is a pretty cozy spot. Um, if you need a spot to hang out and talk about Monster Hunter when you're not on Twitch, it's a nice place for that. All right. So it was good. I enjoyed getting to experience some more of Monster Hunter World for the first time in a really long time. This area is cool. The last thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and find someone else who's streaming Monster Hunter. I'm going to give them a raid, pass on the uh, the Monster Hunter folks. Hmm. Let's see. We might watch my friend Mega Radar play. Let's see who else is on. Whoop. Just taking a look at who's live on some of the older categories. Yeah, I guess you know what? We're gonna go ahead and give our friend Mega Radar a raid. They're playing some drunk greatsword.
So, if you want to stick around for yet more Monster Hunter Weekend fun, stick around for Mega Radar's Generations Ultimate Great Sword stream. I'll be seeing you guys next week. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks for tuning in this week, as I after I took a few days off for my tooth. Hope you guys have a nice night or a good day, whatever time it is where you are. Cheers. Happy hunting. Good night. <laughs>